Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. Friday free show of a mediocre time. Hey, hey, buddy. Welcome to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Samantha, our producer's here. Hello, Sam. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Got a semantic shirt on. When is your five year deal? When's that going that is on? This Sunday, February 20th at oh, Rock Pit Brewing. I love it. I love it. Go to Rock Pit. You get your. Uh, she rele- you released the can art last night, did you not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can uh, check out the can art. We have our very own Semantic Sunday Vienna Lager beer that we're going to release on Sunday. So come grab a four pack. Awesome. There you go. Speaking of podcasts, our buddy Dan Cummins is here. How you doing, Dan? Thanks for having me back, everybody. And then congrats on the uh, five thank years. Thank you, thank you. That's awesome. pretty cool, right? It's yeah. like podcast to podcast to podcast. Like, they're growing. This podcast thing is <laughs> yeah, happening. Yeah. Everybody's got it's one. here to stay. It, it's growing, but also there's a lot of fade uh, where people are just like, oh, fuck it. And so they stop doing That's their podcast. Um, so we'll talk podcasting. But first, let's uh, talk about your tour. Um, you're going to be at the uh, Orlando Improv. Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. I'd get your tickets literally right now because I've seen Mediums <laughs> yeah. buying no, tickets are, since October. Since you announced together uh, a, this yeah. week in our chat room, I've yeah. watched everyone in the. You've been in there. Christine's been in there. We've watched everyone just go tickets, 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 oh, tickets. That's so nice. you're going to have a lot of these guys in there, and th- that'll be a lot of fun. I'm very jealous. I mean, we're doing something cool. You and I were going camping, I, but well, I'm very is it cool? Camping. <laughs> wow. I'm going to keep saying that. Until it's not. Well, it, it's it's funny, dude, uh, Dan, because I would uh, I was excited. Did you that just you call him doo doo Dan? <laughs> I <laughs> no, swear no, to God, no. I turn hey, away for one second. And he's like, oh, "Let's talk about my doo doo Dan." Doo doo Brown, doo doo Brown, and doo doo Dan. Uh, my wife planned this uh, camping trip this weekend for my fortieth okay. birthday. Get happy birthday! I Thank you, yeah. uh, Graham. And so we, you were out there. You thought mm-hmm. you thought, and and you were wrong. That you had the biggest guns in the room, and you're like, I turned forty, I've got big guns, <laughs> not that bad. And then, oh, yeah. no. Dan, nationally touring <laughs> comedian and podcasting oh, yeah. mo- mogul, only under Joe Rogan, <laughs> Dan Cummins <laughs> walks in and says, oh, yeah. "Yo, motherfucker, <laughs> yeah, look yeah. at these fucking guns." That's a yeah. quote. That's a direct quote. Oh yeah, yeah. he straight cockled me. And uh, after, 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 after I his... kicked in the door, <laughs> I kicked the door in. I What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> I, I walked out of the bathroom, and I, if I was like, "Who the hell is <laughs> yeah. good lord? We're being attacked by the navy." Seals. Yeah, I was hugging Dan. I was like, "God damn, you're uh, bigger than I used to be." You that know? was and a, taller that and was, Jack. And taller. I, I don't want to go full word. gay on you, but that was a phenomenal <laughs> hug. When I held you, I was like, "Oh my god, I I'm 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 on the spectrum." I can like when I held you, <laughs> I'm like, I can see where like in a lot of these new pornos, yeah. it's guys yeah. and girls, and then the yeah. guy will jack another guy off for a little <laughs> while. Nice. It's, it's totally on. cool. It's not really gay. Yeah, and I'm like. You know what? Maybe I'm not as old and uncool as I think I am. <laughs> Maybe I'm pretty cool because as I'm hugging Dan, I'm like, "This is good. This yeah. is uh, this is what life's all about." You just run out in the street, guys. I'm gender, I'm gender fluid. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I think I felt a little right fluidity there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, the the reason me and Daniel can't come to the show uh, either tonight or tomorrow is because my wife planned this camping trip. Because we why w- are you blaming it on her? <laughs> well, right. <laughs> like, you it's you, it's something that you we, told her you wanted. Yeah. I I did not say that. She, oh, uh, she oh. says that. Well, she said this is what you wanted. I said I was like, oh, you know, it'd be cool to go back to Peace Road. We uh, okay, that I'll like tell you wanted it to be. Where's this camp- camping trip? So happening? it's it's Arcadia, Florida. It's like two hours west of here, uh, southwest of here. Anyway, uh, I started. We started doing this birthday camping trip when I was a teenager. When I was like seventeen, on my seventeenth mm-hmm. birthday, and we did it every single year on President's Day weekend yeah. until I was twenty nine. Yes. We did it, you know, and then. It's 
like the White Trash Bohemian Grove. And then all my friends ah, would go. Know, nice Every reference. year they gather. Yeah. And, uh-huh. But this was before kids, and at 29, we all collectively decided that was it. We were tired of fucking camping in tents and shit. Everybody had uh, careers at that point yeah, and jobs. Yeah. They were like, we have, like, this sucks. We're going like, right, right. to <laughs> ride this dot com bubble. And then, no more camping. And then, of course, everybody had kids. And then, you know, and now um, for my 40th, like, uh, we're going back to Peace River. And then with all my friends and the it's kids, like there's the, like 15 to 20 kids going. It's like a yeah. new reboot Nightmare. of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, like where they all go back. Yeah. Yeah, but they're yeah. also not doing yeah. it like they used to. Yeah. Now they're in the book. No basically, no tents? they're glamping no, now. No, no, it's oh, not glamping. There's tents, but there is a porta potty that we rented. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> anti- <laughs> I'm you're anti I'm anti You're at a campsite, right? You're not canoeing down there. We are no, canoeing. Well, we are canoeing. They, we are canoeing. They d- deliver your shit in a trailer, and then you canoe. You get trailer to you now. An hour and a half, and then to the spot or whatever, and then whatever. You used to throw your stuff in the canoe and bring it yourself? Yeah, 22 miles. It's awesome. 22 miles. Like, total, like, we stop it's in the middle fat. of nowhere. You haul ass. I mean, like the, you do. You're drunk. You're just laying there, <laughs> and it just rockets you down the river. Don't act like it was hard. It's not hard. Well, then you got to go back up the river, though. No, right? no. The, oh, no. At the when you're there, you're just like, this is they, where we live now. Well, no, they, like, this they, is it. They bus you up ah. the, up the river, and then you canoe back to your car or whatever. That's okay. what we used to do. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of similar. It's and just then, easier with kids and whatever. And then on the way home, you hit Kentucky Fried Chicken, and it tastes better than any. <laughs> Kentucky, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like after camping. Yeah, like any yeah. food you eat after camping, you're just like, this is the greatest food. Well, I was gonna ask Dan, and then I, we got a bunch to talk about. But uh, when's the last time that you pooped in the woods <laughs> without? <laughs> Like, oh. just <laughs> walked into the woods and Hi, good to see the you paper. Again. It's been three years. When's yeah, the last time you pooped in it. the woods? Let's get into yeah. it. B- because the last time I did it was that on when I was 29, the last camping trip uh, that so we went. So 11 years ago. Yes. Um, and I, the- too, 11 years ago, shat in the woods. Yeah. And, and, there- and more comes out. Daniel loves it. I, I am it. awkward about it. Just more because- poop comes out because you're forced to poop like you're supposed to poop, which right. is flat feet. Squat yeah. and poop coming out, right? That's yeah, you're, how you're, you're talking about real in the woods, right? Like by a log or whatever, like not by in a porta potty. No, like yeah, yeah, right. yeah like right. just poop on the floor. Yeah, I, 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 on, I prefer it. I can do it. I can do it anywhere. Yeah. I'm, I am. I'm awesome at it. <laughs> you gotta get. You should have one of those things in your home that, like, what is that thing where you uh, squatty potty? Squatty potty. Yeah, to, to replicate it. Uh, you know, I've never wanted one because I've always felt that that's just a little. It's like uh, VR <laughs> shit in the woods. You know, it's a little. It's they're trying to like put get, a bunch of plants in your bathroom. That's not a Just get a bunch idea. of house plants and like you know that, you could, you could do this. Potty. He he's become obsessed with plants. He didn't know that. Like since he's now a botanist and has a whole <laughs> poison <laughs> ivy <laughs> layer. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I think ten years though, about ten years. Oh, okay, yeah. It was right around. Uh, I'm trying to think, the last time I went camping, it would have been the last time I went camping with my mom and stepdad because we would just go growing up in central Idaho to like not campgrounds. Like like when I first went to a campground when I, in my I don't know early thirties, like a real campground. I was like, wait, there's there's uh, cement slabs, there's uh, porta potties, there's places for your fire. I'm like, we would just go. Uh, my my buddy's got a hundred acres. Yeah, we're just going to the woods or nice. this forest service land, and you just like go on logging roads, and you're like, this looks good, and you just like you just have a random spot, and everybody's you know shitting in the woods. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, and but there's something, there's some anxiety with shitting in the woods. <laughs> I don't know why you guys. <laughs> you think hey. a bear's gonna run up on you? It, well, the bugs. No, other what people- is the worst thing that could happen to you? I, other people seeing me like, look at that. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's that's on them, <laughs> not you. You don't see. You you have. No, there's nothing going on yeah, there. That's for them. Some, some creepy guy who's just been like jerking off in the woods <laughs> already. He's like already behind a tree. Like you're way out there. And he's like, hey, gonna, hey, buddy. Pudge is gonna see your fudge. <laughs> it's just you're, you're vulnerable <laughs> when you're poop when you're pooping in the woods, and it's like you're putting your uh, like you have to lean over to not poop on your own jeans. Or no, pants. you don't know how you to do it, man. You wear your jeans to go poop. No, then you like step you... <laughs> out one hole. Everybody knows you step out, swivel it to the side, and hold it out. You wear jeans camping? Well, I, I don't wear jeans. In the past, if it's I cold, wear parachute pants. That's uh, the only thing I wear. You gotta have pockets. All my knives. I carry <laughs> thirty-seven pocket knives. I, I like to find a little tree, like a little. You hold onto a branch and lean back. Oh, so then you're, then you're, I, like I that. also have that's concern. called the Fat Joe. Lean back, yeah, lean I, back. I, I also have concern about like you know getting it on the shorts or whatever or the shoes. So that's, that's why you gotta like you like, like you're doing a squat, like yeah. a, like a like a yeah, like you're stretching your uh, you what are, what are those called? Not your hammies, but the other ones, yeah, your quads. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I yeah. don't know the body, but then. <laughs> But then you fall. <laughs> it. Yeah, well, I'm just learning your, it. Your leg fronts. So <laughs> your your front leg muscles. So Dan, 
uh, yeah. uh, how's podcasting? Uh, because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got, left. You, you've got multiple podcasts yeah. now, and um, and you've grown your empire, your podcast empire, uh, and it's huge. Um, I follow you on social media. I, I mean, just from this tour and the venues you're playing and the amount of people that are time suck, uh, you know, and all, all the other podcast fans, like, it, it's unbelievable. Oh, uh, thanks. You know, it's been... Um I feel like coming back on the road, I kind of like um, realize more that like, oh yeah, I think, I mean, I, I know things are going good and I'm very like grateful, but it's like, uh, I'm so focused on week to week content creation and, you know, and as you grow, you kind of have like a team help with other things. And so you don't check, uh, you know, especially like when I wasn't touring as much, you're not out like meeting people and things. So it's almost like a, like you're in this like a uh, uh, weird like um, basement like uh, laboratory like like go do your research monkey and like they put and then everyone every three months you come out and you're like oh people do like it right right <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. you become a little bit more detached so I'm glad I'm like back on the road and like oh yeah this is real like the last couple of years felt like a weird like uh, like the the matrix kind of glitched a little bit yeah yeah that yeah. makes um, sense it's like no way to really know if people are even listening like you think yeah, they are right and you, you can assume, check the yeah. numbers and stuff but then it's like my, my crazy brain is like yeah but they don't really like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're they're hanging on by it, a thread. You know, it's interesting because numbers, <laughs> like you can look at numbers and like, okay, you know yeah. that they represent an actual download from an IP address. Sure, so like, you know sure. how it works, and sure. so you're like, okay, this is a human. These numbers are real, uh, unlike uh, social media and some things like that, where things you're like, oh wait, is this real? And but there's no connection which you've always had with your audience yeah. and yeah. the stand up. The connection side. grounds it to me. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, uh, mm -hmm. it, like like and it can it only you only need one person like it, I mean like in a weird way even having like one of our listeners like Christine that I really care about here yeah. it's cool it's like okay it's yeah real. they are real we're doing it it's a real thing she doesn't yeah. seem like a robot she no, yeah she yeah exactly yeah. you know like I like that <laughs> which is an an odd time and let's talk about like you know starting a tour back up and you know the pandemic it seems like hopefully it's coming to yeah. some sort of end or at least people are tired of it or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. but I no mean, this is just the tip how has it been <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How has it been even you know, touring during? You guys have no idea what's fucking coming. <laughs> <laughs> I like being that guy. <laughs> uh, when did you start this uh, Symphony of Insanity tour? Well, uh, this one, it did. S oh, let's see. Uh, no, I guess it just started in the fall. It started in the fall and then just carrying over to this year. Okay. But and, then, and then we'll record something at the end of this year as the plan and then start a new tour, you know, next year. Did you have to, uh, how many of these did you have to move or manipulate or was it all pretty much, uh, did it pretty much, or is it pretty much going the way you wanted it to or are you having to? Since we started again, uh, yeah, because I, I stopped touring, well, you know, March 2020. Yeah. And, and then and there was this thing, you know, where nobody knew what was going on and what, like, as far as on the business level, like what was going to be open and things. You know, my, uh, we initially we moved everything like two weeks. My agent was like, oh, we're just going to push everything two weeks, and then we're good. <laughs> all blow over. <laughs> all blow over. <laughs> yeah. All blow over in two weeks. And then, and then it went to like pushing it like another month. And it's like, okay, now we'll be good. And then eventually, like after like two or three pushes, I was like, I don't want to keep doing this. And just get, and people were mad, and it's understandable. Like, hey, how come you cancel this date? And I'm like, well, it's not my call. It's the venue, and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And so we just ended up waiting until August of last year, because then it felt like things were you know stable. Yeah. And I will say, we haven't had the only thing we've had to cancel this time, and it was COVID-related was in Austin, Texas. It wasn't um, mandates. It was these supply chain problems. A club was supposed to open, but they can't get any of their equipment to open. And wow. that's happened actually twice. We got we had Austin, and then we replaced it with Richmond, and then that club also couldn't open. So it was two like you know clubs that were doing like I've one was doing a grand opening, a re grand opening. Yeah, they couldn't get like their um, those industrial whatever like kitchen supplies oh, that no are more way. like specialty, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And. They just, you know, the shipment was supposed to come and now it got, you know, and we've experienced that. We did a little bit of a remodel and it's like, we've been waiting on this, uh, a new front door for, I think, nine months. Yeah. Something, you know, I like waited, there's some things that are just, I waited yeah, eight months. Not, I, 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 I waited eight months to, for a uh, birthday gift yeah. of a dream guitar. Oh, cool. The, like it's, a, yeah. it's a Martin acoustic guitar, nice. but like it kept getting pushed back. And then right. not only that, but the price of the wood. Yeah. Like, so, like, I would actually see it reflected in the cost of the guitar, and then I'd yeah. have to write them and be like, well, are you charging me more? And they're like, oh, yeah. Well, you can say, you know, it all went up. It's a handmade instrument. And I'm like, oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See you in nine months. You know, like, right. but I ended up getting yep. it right seven and some change it took. Yeah. When normally you could just go to Guitar Center, Sam Ash, just pick yeah. up something, you know, they didn't have anything. Plus, the demand was high because people were bored. So. Right, right. Very odd. That's the only thing. That's the only thing I've experienced as far as, like, you know, tour weird kind of glitch. And then, um, and then just as far as like uh, 
like the audience as far as like mask or no mask. The only thing that happened that was a little unusual was uh, like a two days before a show in, um, oh, I feel bad. It was just north of Denver, not Boulder. I had a lot of fun at some place. I can't remember. But, mm. it, but it was just north. <laughs> <laughs> it was well, it's easy to forget places in Colorado because it's <laughs> very Colorado. fun. It's all it's, cool. It's, it's very yeah. fun. Cool. And then my wife will be like, do you remember on that gondola and the views? And I'm like, yeah. not really, but I'll take your word for it. I was really hot. <laughs> like, but it was a little theater, like, um, uh, hour or two north of Denver, and uh, that county had a different mandate. Is it Loveland? Or yes. Loveland? It was Loveland. Loveland. Yeah, thank you. Loveland, Colorado. That's creepy. Super, you super know cool that? little theater. I googled Dan Cummins, Colorado. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like, two days before we got there, they had a different mandate come through, and the whole audience also had to be masked. And, everybody, and, and that was... That was just a little weird. That was one thing I didn't want to go back and perform to. I kept thinking of Handmaid's Tale. Have yeah. you seen that? Yeah. Where it's like, it is weird when you're conditioned for so many years to study people's faces. Like, that's the communication with stand-up. You're that's, talking. That's your It's cues. not just laughs. You're looking at their p- body position, but mostly you're looking at their face. Because mm. are they smiling? Like, how, how does their energy kind of feel? And you feed off of that. And when you're just looking into a sea of eyeballs, it is creepy as shit. Yeah, yeah, like, I can it imagine. It is a weird vibe. <laughs> and, and, like, and, and then it muffles their laughs, too. And so you're just like, what is happening? And you understand rationally why, you know, somebody felt like they needed to make that choice. But like, but it's not fun. It's not like a fun show to do that way, you know, compared to what it would be otherwise. And so I'm I'm glad that's only happened once because I did say like virtual shows. I had no interest in doing stand up virtual shows. I did one for charity and I hated it. Yeah, yeah. I would have never done it if it wasn't for charity. And then uh, I was like, well, if it has to be masked audiences, I'll just not do stand up. I really just because it would just make me sad. It was just like this is like a bastardized. Shitty version of what I used to love. Yeah, sure, yeah. but but it hasn't but it, but it hasn't been. I would say the crowds have been awesome. They're so excited to be out. People who come out are pumped. Have you noticed yeah. an increase in like people talking through the show? Or uh, uh, great question. You you you, you, you uh, have like you have a unique scenario in which yeah. I feel like the majority of people going to see your show are your fans to begin with. Yeah. So it's like oh, I've been wanting to ask very you rare, this. Yeah. random people going. But me and Daniel uh, went to see uh, two <laughs> well, different Samantha comedians. Samantha was with me. Sam, Sam and I went yeah. to see okay. Miss Pat. Oh yeah, awesome. And, and she was, and Ari Shafir and Ari Shafir. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, and they're both like really, really sweet. They were yeah. awesome, right? Yeah. But both of those shows had You're rowdy. Well, the Miss Pat one had a guy that just and um, and you can go back and listen to the show, but he just kept yelling anytime she'd say a punchline, he would tag it with like truth. Oh yeah, truth. Oh my god. And it happened every joke. So for me, I couldn't In turn Arsha it. Fear, we had a guy behind us that was just repeating the punchline every time. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, Shut up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is it, it's I think it's fading a little bit now cuz people have been out longer, but I did I worried about that about people's social skills. And just like, cause they've been home too much. Yeah, but and they, they, and didn't they haven't, know they haven't had like other people in, you know, public being like, what are you doing? Or anybody confronted them. And our, and our society has gotten way less confrontational than it used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I, <laughs> it's so funny. We have promoted therapy. Uh, I've been doing like the online therapy and stuff. Oh, and it's okay. like, I'm more like old school, just the way I was raised where like parenting with coworkers, you know, uh, very quick to be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you, what are you doing? What are you, what's going on right now? You know, like that. And I'm like, people don't like that. People mm. like, that. People, <laughs> yeah, and like yeah. out in public, I've yelled at people in movie theaters to shut the fuck up, and like you know just and but I've seen like now I'm like <laughs> to be fair, I have to if stop you yelled that. that, I probably would shut the fuck up. But like, <laughs> yeah. 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 like Tom I, yelled it, I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah, if you yelled it, I'd be like, who the fuck is this nerd? <laughs> if you yelled it, I'd be like, hello, nurse. <laughs> 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 no, but I've I've like worked on you know for a variety of reasons calming down about that stuff, but also it would be constant now. Like, there is just, and I've noticed it at, like, the airport and stuff, like, people dressed in their pajamas, like, on their computer, holding their computer, watching their show without headphones. Like, that. I'm like, you're not in your fucking basement right now. Like, what are you doing? But, like, I was worried, is, like, is that going to translate to shows? And it did initially where it's like, yeah, people would come to a show but have the energy as if they're watching it on TV at home because that's where they've been the last year and a half. It's weird and how they fell coming out of that. It's, it, 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 it was. I mean, yours was. I think your instance was. It was kind of the same. It was like they were fans. It was at this uh, Jim Jeffries show. Oh, that, yeah. You probably got some rowdier fans, too. It just, they, the guy, they were yeah, happy. It's, they, it's they were at fans Dr. Just Phillips, so you would almost think the venue 
would almost dictate, oh, it's Dr. Phillips. Like A little price Normally when it's Dr. Phillips, yeah. it kind of knocks out a lot of the, gotcha. the, the normal guy. Improv's yeah. the same way. We have venues in town that you expect that. I don't really expect that for lower tier places and open mics, something yeah. like that. Of course. You know? sure, sure. I don't expect yeah. it at Hard Rock. We had it at Marin. Oh, yeah. We had a lady got thrown out at Marin. Yeah, yeah. We had, Mark Marin. Yeah, we had a lady yeah. be drawn. He just got drawn out. My well. wife stood up and said, you're ruining my time. <laughs> I'm like, oh my, I'm like, oh my God. I love but it. But someone needs to say something. Right? Right? Good for her. Yeah. Good for her. It made me like, so uncomfortable. Normally, I would do that, but I've been trying to do different. I've been trying to be a different boy. I, yeah, know, but, I know, me too. I've been trying to be calmer. But I no, I don't think you should. I think you need to <laughs> yell at them. Like, you're the only one, Dan. You know, like, <laughs> because you're our only hope, Dan. You're our only hope. Because I <laughs> Please went, yell for us. I went to go say something, and my wife's like, don't say anything. And this, like, because I think everybody's afraid that it'll somehow escalate. Right. Well, my wife always says it to me. She's always like, Please, please. She didn't even say anything. Yeah. She just goes. She, she does the Cosby. She's calm. Oh, but calm. Well, there, there is that weird thing where it's like, uh, you, I mean, you have to be aware of how you look. I, when I'm out with my wife, <laughs> I let she she runs her mouth like Lindsay runs, and I kind of like it because I'm like, I don't feel comfortable. Especially if it's somebody who is smaller, or uh, especially if it's female, I'm like, I look like I've joked about it in stand up, but I do look like a guy, a bad guy in a lifetime movie. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I live, yeah. Like, Full I have, tattoos, I have dark, dark features. Yeah. It's like, and if I get mad, it's fucking terrifying to some people. <laughs> so it's like, but if she gets mad, then I my game now is like, say something to her. Just fucking. <laughs> <say>. <laughs> now I can be justified as the guy sticking up for his wife. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, let, let her start it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if they, and then I'll just stare at him, and then I'm like, please say something. Because then if you say something to her, then I'm going to rip your fucking head off. <laughs> oh, but my like, God. All right. I see it now. It's, it's a, it's I see game. it. It's a game. But, but then you're wrestling on the floor. And there are some people. And there are some people. It's like, it's like, I'm not some super tough guy. It's like, uh, there are, yeah. There, and I also think about that, too. Like, where I live, especially in Coeur d'Alene, like, you know, there's a lot of guys who are probably quicker than average to fight mm. and have, like, maybe less to lose. Yeah, and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are the ones you worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and I do think about that. I'm like, okay, so I get in a fight, win or lose. I get in a fight with somebody over making too much noise at the movies. You know, it's like uh, I get my ass kicked, possibly, or if I don't get my ass, I kick the shit out of them and then lose everything. And then like, what? Now I'm in uh, Dan in jail being like, for me. Yeah. You're yeah. Did it. You're yeah. on movie theater. Yeah. That guy learned his lesson. Yeah, exactly. You're on the internet. He was in jail last week. So <laughs> right. So I don't know. I, Dan, I want to. Oh, ask, Norm, hey, real quick, yeah. just because because he wants to ask. We have a a, a Twitch chat uh, guy. He yeah. was there at the time that we were doing the Miss Pat thing. He wants to know your opinion, professional comic, <laughs> top tier. <laughs> When we, as patrons, me, Sam, Norm, are sure. we were sitting there in this instance, yeah. how should we handle it? Because, oh. like, should we... Uh, I thought about is is I thought about calling the club from my seat and being come to my table. You know, like what, sure, what, sure, sure. What uh, get, contacting the staff? Absolutely, just get the yep, staff absolutely. and handle um, it. People, I've seen people do the uh, just the hard like shh. Right. You know, a shush. I thought that mood may get worse. It can. It can. Sometimes a shush will set somebody off. And now they're in, in a de in a good venue. Where they have, I mean, right now, there's another thing, though. Uh, staffing problems are very real. Correct. Yeah, yeah. And I've talked to clubs about that, and it's unfortunate where it's like they don't have the enforcers they may have once had. They they have a staff that's real quick to quit in a lot of instances. Like, the whole great resignation thing is very real. Yeah, yeah. And so that's a problem where sometimes it, it does just kind of suck where it's like, in the, in a perfect world, you talk to the club, let your waiter or waitress, like, hey, can you please have somebody quiet them down? And then the staff will handle it. Um, and I've noticed like, uh, you know, most places I go now, it's like, they'll ask me, it's like, Hey, how do you want to handle audience members? And I'll say like, you know, if they're cause, if they're just disrupting, I'll beat them up. If they're just, <laughs> if they're I didn't know you had a choice. I was <laughs> like, let's go capital punishment yeah. on these motherfuckers. <laughs> I wish it was like yeah. that kind of choice. Execute them. Yeah. Uh, you know what? No, <laughs> but do something. Get, they should get something really fucked up the first time, which is, look, we're not going to do nothing to you physical. We're just going to take your shoes and socks off and burn them in a drum. <laughs> <laughs> we're burning your shoes. You have no <laughs> shoes to walk home. You're done. <laughs> yeah. We burn them in this 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 oil drum, and that's what you get. If you do it again, we'll beat you up. Uh, you get the shoe burn. I'm just imagining up. some like really hard hardcore thing where it's like the show's going on like you know someone's talking and then like there's no warning there's nothing uh staff just comes up and literally puts a gun to their temple and fucking blows a ring <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then and then i just like come and i'm like <laughs> the whole crowd yeah the whole crowd like oh my god repeat the punchline right, right. what did he say <laughs> people are scared i'm like hey everybody calm down it's okay it's okay they were talking too loud and so they were killed uh, just stay quiet and you'll be fine anyway you, can laugh. About, you, can laugh. I, you know what? We we should get a hold of our buddy Tizzy and do a short film starring Dan Cummins where that happens. That, I wouldn't mind seeing that. And just yeah. play 
play Love that it. before mm-hmm. stand up. Oh my god, yes. This is this is how That's we actually a good We call. can't do this, but this is what we would like to do to you. <laughs> yeah. I've had a fantasy. It's like obviously I couldn't do this for a variety of legal reasons. But just like, <laughs> but how, how f- it would be so funny to me just to like come up on stage and then just set like a nine millimeter just like on the stool and not address it. Right. And then, oh. <laughs> just do this, and then maybe when someone's talking, just pick it up and just kind of fix it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or then just, just set it, it back down. Rub it the hand. <laughs> just, just brush your middle finger across the top of the steel, you know, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit so they see it. <laughs> right. That's but, pretty But awesome. no, you should talk to the staff. I mean, that's how that's. Okay. Uh, okay. It, it, most, most venues, they will have somebody talk to them. And uh, what I would do from the stage is I, I try to ignore it if there's a lot going on. She stopped the show. Uh, but if, yeah, but if there's somebody really particular, it's just like, hey, what are you doing? Miss Pat stopped the show. Okay, good. good. It's so, but That's it's good. So, it's embarrassing it's though because like we want her to like Orlando. Right. So then we, we have Miss Pat st- and this was a quote from her. She's like, y'all motherfuckers are not being respectful. I'm up here on stage with brand new material that you're going to get to hear before anybody else and I have a choice of whether to stop or continue. So do you want to continue? And ah. then I have to sit there like a child because this <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm and getting. She's looking in our direction. And, and guess like, who's the only person she <laughs> fucking recognizes are you and I. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, hi. You know, like, <laughs> she from the stage, Dan, Samantha. <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you Shut thought. Shut the fuck up. She was so, <laughs> God yeah, damn it. It, it was really nice, though. We try to just be respectful, yeah. you know? Uh, so what happened with YouTube? Because uh, th- there's mm. it's an interesting thing uh, Did about. Did he approve that? Is that on the sheet? No, no, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Suspended? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah. this has been what going. What are you guys doing over there? What's What's interesting <laughs> they, to me? They go hard. Uh, well, first, like, wh- why <laughs> is it just some algorithm that picked up? Uh, like, uh, how did it work? Well, we got we found out like the two. It, it is their it's their AI bots. Yeah, which, which uh, is, is annoying. One was uh, an old PizzaGate topic, which is weird. It never got in trouble when we loaded it up. But it's like uh, the AI bots don't understand sarcasm and they don't. They're like anti conspiracy. And it's like they don't understand that I'm doing a uh, topic on a conspiracy that I'm also against and I'm breaking down and I'm making fun of it. And then in the comments, that one um, for telling I don't even know Joe. So Joe Paisley will like run the YouTube replies a lot of times. I don't know if he was saying, like, hey, just shut up, or what are you doing? Like, there was a lot of comments about how, like, basically I was a uh, Illuminati shill, I guess. I didn't even read them. Uh-huh. And um, somehow, in our replies, we got accused of cyberbullying. So for, for telling people to shut up about a crazy conspiracy, we got accused of yeah, cyberbullying. Uh, I've got accused of – I've had flags. This is uh, my friend Doug on uh, Instagram. He'll post pictures of cute dogs. Yeah, He's yeah. like, look at this asshole. It's just a stupid thing. <laughs> and I'll just post comments like, kill it, kill it now. Like, like, like just I've being ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, funny. And then I get flagged for uh, cyberbullying and for threats. Oh, yeah. Because they don't threats understand. Of yep, yeah, threats of violence. And then uh, the second time was uh, – it was – oh, yeah, on Is We Dumb – we put links in the episode description, and one of them was to a fake porn site that was uh, furniture porn. It wasn't porn. It was like furniture, lawn furniture arranged in like 69, doggy style, cowgirl. <laughs> oh, hey, I would have liked to waste some time with that. <laughs> right. Where's the link? Right. Uh, but the, the AI bots read it as porn and that we were pushing people to sexually explicit content, and so we got flagged again. And then we get Weird. flagged all the time for essentially dark jokes. You know, we talk about serial killers and things. And, and again, the bots don't understand that if, uh, like I've talked about, like if you, you could take literally so many hours of things that I've said just slightly out of context and it would be, it would be, it would far surpass what most people would get canceled for. Oh, yeah, totally. like it just, yeah. It's yeah. horrific, but it's like, yeah, but it's satire. Or it's sarcasm, but it's like the bots don't understand that. Yeah. I, I was going to talk. They will, I, though. They'll get there. Someday. Well, yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah. Yeah. that's well, why. Some, some people don't get satire Some people don't either. get it either. That's <laughs> true. That's true. You know. That's well, true. That's what I, I wanted to kind of talk about because, um, like, coming from radio, right? We used yeah. to bitch about the FCC and how stupid the whole system was. Um, but well, the FCC won't let me be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. What's interesting is the system that they had is almost better than the AI bots right now, and I'll explain is like the, the back in the radio days the system and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still like this mm-hmm. but it was like someone had to complain and file a complaint mm-hmm. before they'd look into something so and normally any complaint that had to be filed and trust me i know this because i still own one that was sent for something that i said back in the day okay, yeah they will the they need uh an audio cassette or a cd or an mp3 they need a proof, a proof of, of it yeah. if they have no proof 
the likelihood of them ever doing anything is very rare. But it still huh. was based on a human complaint. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I, and yeah. it's funny because back then I used to bitch about like, oh, one fucking crazy cat lady or she wore a tinfoil hat. Like she thinks right. we're talking to through yeah, millions teeth. of complaints from one person. That yeah. Whole thing. And, yeah. And then it's like, how can oh, they, yeah. this one complaint? Uh, and then it changes the content of a show that uh, thousands of people yeah. like. This is absurd. Yeah. And he's a bitch about that. Although now it's kind of in some of these platforms, YouTube and even like Twitch uh, kind of has it in a certain uh, uh, extent with like yeah. sexual stuff or whatever. But like we got flagged one time because I sat on a, a Simeon, uh, one of our sponsors. <laughs> and it wasn't it, like, is, is it, it a Sibian? A Sibian or whatever. Is, yeah. I just sat yeah, on it. We always get a mechanical wrong. dick thrusters, right? Well, <laughs> yeah, the one but that, it didn't have the a one dick. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't nude. I just sat it's on it. It's calming. Field. Yeah, but, okay. okay, nice. So, like, well, not using it, but watching it. I mean, <laughs> it's like a fish tank. So <laughs> now, Jesus. because fish tank. they, they obviously, they, there's too much content being pumped out every second. We got flagged they, yesterday on TikTok. We got uh, Mr. Huh. Snarts, my puppet. Yes. When I was singing the song about all I want to do is eat some pussy, we got flagged. <laughs> yeah. For and, what? For saying like we like explicit content. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, a puppet. Tic- now tic- I can say I want to eat pussy, but I guess when a, a puppet, puppet says can't? it, maybe it k- gets um, kids. Oh kid. God. I, okay. Oh my God. So it's it's I interesting. I just went along with my day. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. Endangering <laughs> minors, yeah. That there is almost a, f- a form of being more censored because these AI bots, they don't right. understand sarcasm and stuff. Like if a, if a human listened to it, they would be like, all right. Yeah. But they can't because this, this is too big. And YouTube and these uh, giant yeah. other platforms, they have to uh, enlist AI bots to, to yeah. keep control. But it does like, uh, you know, fuck over people yeah. that don't deserve it. And that yeah. system of, of, you know, a few people like you talked about complaining and then it ruins something for a lot of people. I mean, that happened to our Facebook, our private Facebook group. We had this cult of the curious and it was pretty big when it was between 25 and 30,000 when it got shut down and they just, they shut it down because uh, uh, I think that was a combination of, that, that might have been bots, but it was definitely people in a private group saying, uh, I don't like this or I don't like this. It's like, like reporting them, it. Right, yeah. reporting, really? which reporting is, it. Which was, we and bring up the all the time with here. our BDMs of like, yeah. hey, you guys got to watch what you post because this shit will get reported and they will shut it down. Right. Like yep, Facebook yep. will they, straight up shut down your, your We group. couldn't reopen it or nothing. Yeah. Their, their final decision was like, it's just erased. Yeah, and, it's uh, gone. Did it, you have to gone. start over? And... Had to start over, you know, but then that's that's so frustrating. It and, is crazy because you're a small yeah. business it's owner. It's a private group. Yeah. yeah. I hate people like that. I like if in a pri- There's literally nothing I would complain about. Because I would just, I would just leave. Well, I shouldn't say that. If it was like, hey, here's an image of uh, ex- executing a child. <laughs> yeah, I'd be right. like, flat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get this there is a yeah. there is a line. There's a line. There's a line. There's a line. Yeah. Can I just hide? It's a snuff film. Can I just hide <laughs> and come back? <laughs> Maybe they're going through a dark period. Hide. I just, <laughs> yeah. Or I would like to see less mute of or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, I'll come back to it. Yeah. I'm a mute for thirty days. I give you thirty <laughs> days to clean up your kid Stop execution. Kids. Yeah. No, so, but, but a lot of people yeah. are like, oh, that joke upset me. Then leave the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And and so when like YouTube, uh, God, we were just talking about that this morning, weren't we? Yep. And and they will make it so they'll suspend you for a certain amount of time where you yeah. can't put your content up, yep. which hurts yep. your business and obviously a lot of things. And then it's a big giant pain in the ass yeah. over nothing because it was nothing and it was right. a misunderstanding. And but it's impossible to get. Good luck getting someone on uh, the line from YouTube to uh, oh handle God. a problem. It's impossible. Yeah. Any of these places, yeah. And, yeah. I, and I mean, and I understand the business's perspective. They are, it's their right to decide what content they want on their platform. They own this. It's a private company. Yeah. yeah. I respect, you know, like free speech is huge for me, but also the right to run your business how you want it. There's freedom there too. I just don't like, it's just the people. Well, the bots is annoying. And it's just, it, so I, I just, then in moments like that, when their YouTube is having too many bots do things, I just pray for a market disruptor to come along and be the new YouTube. I'm like, please somebody else come along so we can go to your platform yeah uh but then but then the other stuff with like facebook the way they do it i i get more annoyed at the users i'm like why are you doing this you're like the annoying kid in class who like fucking tattled because yeah, tattle you heard you know somebody talking about dick or pussy or something it's like i fucking hated you when i was 16 <laughs> and i fucking hate you more now yeah, yeah like yeah, you're, yeah. Just yeah. A, you're just uh, you're just a ruiner we used yeah, to have a, a concept fun killer that. Remember, our, our, but uh, but those guys were uh, we had anyway. Yeah, yeah it, but there's, and then you forget how many people are mentally ill out there. Yeah, <laughs> so, so well, like, or just straight up trolls. <laughs> or bored. You know? yeah. yeah, I mean, may, maybe they just uh, do it out of boredom. What happened with the RSS? Oh, that is another thing. Not to pick your brains about. Hey, tell us about all the hardships you've had, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, and not uh, about your comedy tour and all the good. <laughs> th- but but I'm fascinated by it we because figured that out. Normally, I'm the guy. Yeah. punching those numbers. And, yeah. and that stuff is terrifying to me. This year, we had our Twitter hack. 
Okay, yep. And that was the one of the single hardest and scary, not scary, it wasn't going to end my world, but it, but scary from a business aspect sure. because I was like, there's no one to talk to. So we have yep. these bots and yep. they don't understand my humor, but they can pull me down. And I, when I talked to them, they, like, they were writing back, Twitter was writing back to me. Basically, this automated response yeah. was... I was in a, an auto, auto response loop, loop where, yep. where no matter what I said, the bot would say, yeah, we got nothing and we'll never have nothing. And, <laughs> and let's just stay in this loop because it's kind of fun. You know, right, I'm right. a bot and I'm built to stay in a loop. So let's loop it up. I understand that you are frustrated as much as I can for a program that does not have emotion. But then, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then we found a guy and then we got a list of ours hit us up and was like, you know, in within this Silicon club, yeah. you know, uh, I'm a Facebook man. Uh, I know Twitterman, and I'll talk to them. And as a courtesy, because yeah. we're in the same space, I can hook you up. And damned yeah. if it didn't work. That's amazing. Why is that the thing, though? Is that the like? Imagine if you're just you yeah. know. No, you just get screwed. Yeah. 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 I mean, the the Google thing that happened to us, and it's annoying that it's happened. Yeah, twice. the RSS feed deal. Yeah, I yeah, saw you RSS talking feed. about that. No, I mean, and luckily Google is not like because it's not like just Android users. If an Android user is using like um, what is it like Overcast? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like some of those big like it's not going to affect uh, usage there. Like we don't, we have a small percentage of listeners who actually use the Google's like their own native app. Cause I don't think it's that good, but um, yeah, the interface, the, 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 the UI that people talk yeah. about it, it it's, eh. Yeah, yeah, it, but like what what they do is, and uh, uh, somebody at our ad agency was talking about this because I reached out to them. Like, but it's this crazy thing uh, where it's the only app uh, podcast player that does this. Nobody else does anything like this. Everybody else, you know, you submit your RSS feed from your hosting platform uh, and say like, I want to be on this, 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 and this. And then these other third party apps, they'll pick up Apple's RSS feed for your show and just uh, mirror it, yeah. replicate it. So yeah, that takes yeah, care. Yeah. Google though is like, we have our AI bots. Uh, comb the internet constantly. Their little matrix fucking robots are constantly combing the internet. And if they have, if they see two, uh, basically like your feed, and then you know somebody who has hijacked your feed or mirrored it, stolen it, whatever you want to call it, they see two things. They use some weird formula to determine which one is the correct one, as opposed to just going with the person who actually has ownership. And what's crazy about it is you go into your Google Podcast portal, you have to verify that it's your feed. Yeah. They have to send you a, a two-factor two authentication. All these things so that the email associated with the RSS feed on the hosting site matches the email you have in Google's podcast portal for this podcast you're claiming. So they do that part right, but then once they put it out there, they allow this weird back channel way to hijack it where they're like, yeah, we understand that that one's yours, but this other one, um, I don't know, they made a good case for it being theirs. Uh, <laughs> and so we're going to give it to them. And then so then you have to like go back and be like, no, it's not theirs. And you have to submit all these things. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're right. And they immediately get back. Basically with a, yeah, you're right. That's not the correct feed. Within two weeks, this should be resolved. And meanwhile, this other thing is running their own ads on your podcast. Yeah, yeah using it. And using yeah. it. And your ads don't get run on your own podcast. Crazy. And it's just, no one, I, I was like, why do they do this? And everybody I've talked to, like, uh, uh, on the inside of the tech side, was like, we have no idea. Yeah. It the automation no aspect of things is tricky. I hate yeah. that aspect of I our wonder business. If Google gets some kind of weird kickback for doing that, for running other ads. Because why the fuck right. would you do that? There's some robot overlord. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell's going the, on I want more there. Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 right. The fuck? I'm trying to buy a mini bike <laughs> like Dan is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I can have never have enough mini bikes, right? Go karts or silly things yeah. to buy. Yeah. It's yeah. just. These robots has they have needs. They want fun <laughs> toys, super soakers, and Nerf guns, and you know. Or whoever wrote that like software or something. I don't know. I don't That's know. fucking weird. Yeah, when I saw the it, it like it, it it sunk my heart, man. When I saw it, it was like, sorry, Google users, we're down right now. And I'm like, oh god. We just got it back. What's it's interesting though is it, like I was telling Tom this morning, it's just like radio because back in the day, you'd yeah. have a day where I'd come into work. And they'd be like, hey, it's going to be an easy day. We're on 10%. I mean, what do you mean we're on 10%? Well, the, the tower went down. Oh. We're only broadcasting locally. So that means only people within a 30-mile radius can get this show. Wow. Yeah. Like 30 yeah. miles? That's like nobody. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's do it. Let's be racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're all waiting for this. <laughs> you know, but this is yeah. our opportunity. <laughs> but, uh, but it's exactly the same thing. Stuff, it's yeah. like it goes down, and then it's like, you know, the, it, it's – Virtually all the same stuff. Yeah. Dan, tell me about the summer camp. Uh, oh, yeah. Because oh, uh, I, I saw you promoting this, and I was like, this is a great idea. It looks amazing. I, I know uh, not a, not as much as I should. Lindsay, um, Lindsay is running a uh, point on that. We have an event planner. But basically, it's like um, 
Well, we had we had like you know I think inspired by you guys your social events yeah absolutely inspired because we had like a a little tiny gathering like I don't know year and a half in where we had I don't know maybe twenty thirty people just come out to Court Lane see the studio nothing really that uh, um, organized okay and then we somebody else kind of set it up and we were surprised that people wanted to come out there we're like oh okay so then the next year we made it a little bit more organized had like a dinner had some activities that we all did together That's and then so cool. and that one was like super fun. But then uh, the pandemic hit, and so we couldn't do it, and then, you know, still couldn't do it the next year. We did, like, virtual things, like, uh, you know, like, basically like a big Zoom-type situation. Yeah. And then but we wanted to do something big since it had been, like, a couple years. And I don't even remember. It probably was Lindsay's idea to set it up this way, but uh, it's it's a, we we rented out a big Boy Scout camp. So it's like a huge – it is like a traditional kids' summer camp, but we're um, retro – like, we're going to have food trucks – we're gonna have uh, bands. This is uh, dope. We're gonna have like so people can like sleep over and it's like themed camps. No Boy Scouts, right? Uh, there's gonna be Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a Boy wow, Scouts. Are you gonna have a Boy Scouts? Are you gonna have a blob? Have, a rainbow I make blob? It, yes, I make it real. Blob. I make it real word just with the addition of one word. We're gonna have sexy Boy Scouts. They're gonna be in um. They're gonna be in cages and they're gonna be part of the. <laughs> <laughs> sexy caged Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the YouTube bots are just. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yes. 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 This sexy show gets shut down. Boy Scouts. We put it out. Like, Shut down. <laughs> I'm calling Dan. I'm like, hey, they got our RSS. Yes, yeah, sexy cage Boy Scouts. Uh, that's what finally did us in. Uh, but we um, we're gonna have like like the scared to death, is we dumb, time suck, like different like themed camps, and uh, yeah, just have lots of kind of like social activities. There's gonna be, but there'll be like yeah, it'll be a proper thing. There'll be security. There'll be buses that'll get people because uh, there's gonna be some people who are staying overnight, and then other people who'll just you know stay in town, and then we'll have buses taking them there. But it's gonna be People, it starts Friday night and then Saturday, Sunday, and then like a goodbye breakfast Monday morning, and then that's it. And I think the tickets are going to go on sale March 15th at noon Pacific time. That's amazing. Oh, awesome. Yeah. There'll be a little bit more info then. That, that'll There'll be a live scared to death, uh, uh, live as we done, like, uh, and then some some people who are listeners who are in bands. Do you like doing the live stuff? The live podcast? You know, for me, it's just come down to time. I do. It's just come down to time. It's like I just, in the last, like, I'm going to figure out this next year how to pull back on some content because I just like, uh, I, th- I just got stressed a little bit too thin. Yeah. So yeah. I feel it in moments where You'll I'm You'll prepping- burn yourself out, let yep. me tell you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah when I, f- and I felt that. For the first time, I felt like this last year some burnout. And just like uh, we have these weird emotions where you're angry to do the thing that you love to do. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you're just doing it too much. Yeah. Uh, so like the live podcast, I would do more if I had more time. But it's like, but there's just not time with stand up. But, uh, but so it's going to be fun to do it at the camp. Like, and I've never done a live scare to death with Lindsay. I've done live time sucks. And I think I'm in a in a woodsy setting, scary stories at night. I think it's Hell cool. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. great, man. Yeah. I think it's ideal. I, I really I'm do. I'm excited. Yeah, and let's uh, see if we can weasel our way out. There. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys are. Yeah, yeah. Well, you that place is such a hip, like cool. Everybody I know go, is saying they're going to that area, and they have no idea. Like, well, they might listen, but they don't yeah. know you. You know what I mean? Sure, like, it has sure. nothing to do with that. But it's in some exploded. weird it's way, crazy. like, that area is so... It's always mentioned as, like, oh, yeah, you got to come out here. It's lovely. Well, Everybody loves it. Damn, I, I was going to get you guys out. Yeah, no, 100%. I was going to ask you no about... Camp, anytime, yeah. About the... Oh, uh, we can camp again. You love camping. <laughs> I know. You, canoe, there's a, there's a series of rivers. If you start canoeing, <laughs> you can get... It's going to be hard <laughs> to get over the Continental Divide. Yeah. But, like... Okay, yes. if, I, if I get out... Let me give you a map. I'm I'll draw, coming, I'll draw, sexy boy scout! <laughs> <laughs> I can get to the Gulf and then get to the Mississippi, and I'm sure there's some shit that can get me over. Um, but, but I don't even know what that means. <laughs> the uh, I, I want to ask you about uh, your son getting his driver's license. Oh God! Because yeah. um, and uh, because I again I follow it's going everything so on social fast. social it's media. Going, you said it would, but yeah. it, my God. Well, and that's part of the pulling back a little bit too. I just realized, like you know, you're in the building phase of your business. And then that the justification is to work a crazy amount of hours to like you know support the family all those things, and then when it's working and you're still working a crazy amount of hours and your kids are getting older you're like what am I doing well, how am I justifying this, you know because it's crazy like that hit me when he's driving it's like oh my god he's he's gonna be gone soon yeah he's, like, he's a, independent be, he's yeah. driving his own car yeah yeah and he's a good driver well going back to like the pandemic because we experienced a little bit of, of this like pandemic change or workflow and and then it's like all right i'll focus on this or whatever yeah. and so yeah. then you start focusing on new projects and then right. all of a sudden things stop and opening up back up again and then you start yeah. doing the stuff you used to do and yep. the and stuff the old projects that, and the stuff you started yeah. during the pandemic and you were mentioning that you know with doing more podcasts and the podcast schedule got ramped up and then all of a sudden you're back to touring and now right. it's too much right yeah. yeah yeah so now it's just gonna be figuring out like 
what Jenga pieces to kind of pull away. Just just in the sense too of like, you know, the content will if you're doing too much for too long, it will just de- degrade. Yeah, like, like you know, listeners will start to feel it. They'll write that down. Write that down. They'll hear the yeah. shortcut. I, I feel like I'm in full degrade mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there is like little Danny degrade. Not to talk the the <laughs> business side of things, but degrade. you start doing more content, which then you now you have more inventory for commercials, and then you start so then you yeah. get more commercials. But then like you start looking at it like I'm doing too much content, but now I have yeah. no place to put the commercials, which now is part. of the business so what the fuck right. do i do it's yeah. how it becomes complicated yeah exactly yeah. it does so well, we haven't fi- you know we're still kind of figuring out how to like how to make it um you know because you want to keep it going like it, for me it's like it was such an interesting ride of like you know an experiment at first with your guys's you know uh encouragement of like hey you can do this and, and you and you do it and then it starts working but you never at least i don't i don't ever expect anything to work yeah, yeah. i'm just like you throw it out and then see and then i was so used to kind of moving on and then all of a sudden it's like oh my god it worked so then now you have this great problem, The be- not even a problem. It's like, okay, now I just got to keep this going. Uh, but you don't know how much energy it's going to take until you've been doing it for a while. Yeah, and then yeah. you add another thing and you're like, well, let's see if this works. This would be fun. But then you're like, oh, it does work. Awesome. Okay, we're not going to keep this going. And then after a while you get a bunch of, and then we've been fortunate. We have a bunch of projects that have all worked to various degrees. And then, you, and then after a couple of years of keeping all you're going, like, oh, this is, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's like perfect. And the, yeah, yeah, perfectly and the, said. You that's know, exactly how it feels. And yeah, you don't want to disappoint the the yeah, audience yeah. because if you do, there's pull a back, relationship they're there. Like, right? hey, we yeah. care about you. Yeah, like exactly. they don't believe totally. it when you say that. No, some, but you well, totally do. Some of them do. But yeah. like, I'm like, I care about you, and they're oh, like, fear of disappointing them. Yeah, you know, it's, be- it's almost like you want to let people down. Yeah, you know, and, yeah, and that, yeah. 100%. That's exactly the the problem is like if you pull back any content, and we've t- we've talked about that, even talking about it, people are like don't do it, sure, and they're like yeah. fine, fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like I don't we know. switch a day, like we switch to Thursdays to, to tape some BDM stuff. Yeah. So I know you guys are tired of hearing about it, yeah. and then Mondays and stuff I like that. I did it too with mine. I only I yeah. only do mine every other week now. I'm like I just yeah. can't fucking do it. Yeah, I'm recording, right, I'm recording too much. Yeah. yeah, my whole life's recorded. Right. I tried to pull back from my family. But yeah. I, but I found I, think you're doing it the wrong I found way. that that the I, okay this is true I pulled back from my family but I found that the bond between Maisie and Andrea was getting so like lopsided that I needed yeah. to get back over there to like kind of like hey I'm hey, in I'm, the mix I'm here I'm here yeah I'm <laughs> daddy well there there is that thing you know too where like you know just talking about the content where it's like that's where it started hitting me the last like six months of like still more moments where it's like it just became the regular routine where it's like okay you guys Lindsay and the kids you guys go have fun. I'm going to go be on my laptop, you know, and, yeah. and like again. And it's like, and it's like again and again and again and again. You're like, what am I doing? And yeah. so it's like finding that mix of like, you know, it's like, I want to keep doing it all. And, and, and because I love doing it all now, it's like, at first it was like not knowing how long it's going to stick. And now it's like, well, now I want to keep this going for a long time because I enjoy it. Uh, fans enjoy it. It's the best possible scenario. Yeah. But in order to keep it going for a long time, I got to manage some more life balance. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, it's a good problem to have. Write down scenario. <laughs> you, you say scenario and it makes you sound like a hillbilly. <laughs> I'm just pointing that out. Uh, write that down. <laughs> We're love, learning a I lot. I love write that down. We're soaking everything that. up write, write from, from Dan. So <laughs> we know what to do in round three of Tom and Dan. Three Where are we? You guys have been doing it for how long? 12 It'll years It'll be 13 now. this uh, Man, 13 April. Man, years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a rookie still compared to, I mean, so you no. guys have had, like, I'm sure, an interesting arc that way. I don't know, like, less of an arc, more of a, well, I call I, it a, a dent. I, I was going to talk to you about this Dim because, um, like, we've been doing it at a, as for a long enough now where I'm looking at 10 years in the future. We're, wow. we're every t- like but like 5 yeah. years ago I was like we have flying, well, cars. Last- <laughs> flying cars. Flying cars. <laughs> yeah. Like you yeah. get into the mindset awesome. like 5 years ago where you're like, "Oh, we made it another year. It's good. Like I can't believe we made it." And then all of a sudden That's we've been. over and over and over and then you're like, "Well, I'm going to assume we're going to make it for X amount of more years, so I yeah. should actually have longer-term plans. And yep. then, like, other small business owners would ask me, like, hey, what's your long-term plan? I like, long-term! <laughs> okay, oh, right. I throw some stuff at you, but seriously. Don't get mad at me. Can I throw some stuff sure, at you? Sure, sure, sure. Do you have any mentors? <laughs> uh, Do you have business mentors? People always ask me, well, who are your mentors? Who right. are you talking to? What's your schedule? What's your 10-year plan? What's your five-year oh plan? God. What's your two-year plan? I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I got a six-year-old. I got a, I, 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 I got a, a wife. I'm trying to like work on that and make sure that stays together. I'm trying to make sure this guy doesn't hate me. Like, I, I know what you guys are saying. Like That resonates, though, where it's like, you know, uh, you guys being in that next phase where we're just getting to the point, like just now, where it feels 
it, it, maybe I should have felt this before, but it feels more stable. Yeah. And, and uh, but at first it was like, well, you know, let's plan for this next year, and then let's plan for this next, and hope it works. But it's like I'm a, uh, I don't know, maybe just a more paranoid person. I don't know what my deal is, in my brain. But it's like I'm always ready for it to be like, well, it's probably gonna go away tomorrow. And then just in the last year, it's like maybe not. And I and I feel like it's now I want to change the pacing. I would just do another analogy. I feel like at first I was I was sprinting. I was like, I got to sprint. I got to run as fast as yeah. I can to get this stuff out because it's competitive, all this stuff. And then after five years, you're like, I'm still sprinting, but but I'm running like a, a marathon. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't sprint the whole marathon. I got to yeah, find yeah, a good, yeah. good pace. Yeah. You know? and if, yeah, Do you ever yeah. get embarrassed of what you've created and want to run? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I, sometimes I get embarrassed of what we've created. Like it's a giant shit mountain and I just want to run a 180. <laughs> <laughs> seriously. Like, and then I have this dream that I want to live under a bridge. Like, I, like, <laughs> like seriously, like, these guys know. I like, I want my solitude. Sure. I want my, my tarp. Well, my dog I, with goggles, my shopping cart. I forget all the horrible things I say constantly, and I do like saying horrible, like like that kind of humor. Yeah. But sometimes in a different mood, I'll see like a clip of like one of the things I've said, and I just think about like my family, and like like that's the image I've presented to the. I'm like, I mean, it, which is true. It's a true image. Just play the Whipple also, the like, prison oh, thing you just did. The, oh, the Whipple prison riot. That's still <laughs> one of the fucking funniest raddest things. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. I don't even remember what I said. I'm sure a lot of horrible stuff about. Fucking meth and uh, killing and the, people. And flames. And lots flames, of, lots and, of flames. And bars. Well, you, it's great. Well, it's you know, great. you bring a good point up that uh, I feel like only good people are scared that things are going to end, uh, mm. like around the corner. And bad people who have done horrible shit oh, don't, yeah. they don't think see anything. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like Cosby still like, about this shit. <laughs> or like, like Epstein, Con like all these horrible yeah, yeah. people that have ho that have yeah. skeletons in their closet have done horrible shit. Don't seem to be worried about anybody finding it out until, like, obviously until they do and they're fucking in jail or, or right. you know, whatever it is. But they, they're they like, how is this person so calm in public knowing the, sh like, the shit that they did and yeah. knowing, like, we have nothing to hide. Like, we didn't do horrible shit right. that, uh, that someone's going to find out and, like, cancel. Right. Us. But right. we're still constantly worried about it ending. But for what reason? I find, I use those people as, like, weird inspiration. Like, because yeah. uh, Lindsay, you know, worried too. She's like, because we were both, you know, raised pretty poor. Like, yeah. Grew yeah. up pretty poor. And um, uh, actually, I think very that's poor. Wh what a lot of the mentality is, though. It's just that fear of, of like, like having to be poor again. Of, yeah, like everything's probably. gonna fall apart, and yeah. then I'm gonna struggle again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and I think like for me, maybe even like uh, analyzing myself, uh, I watched my dad do that. Like you know, it, it was like. Uh, start to get things going a little bit, and then everything goes apart, and we're like, can't afford pizza again. You know, oh, like wow. so, so, yeah. so you see that, like you see the wool, like or the rug get pulled out from under, like, yeah, over and over and over. It kind of gets in your head. We're like, but then I, but then I reference these people, and Lindsay had similar things like growing up with her. Uh, but then we reference, I, I, and I won't say names, but like you know, we'll go to the specific like podcast or comedy community, and it's like so and so is a piece of shit. Like they're a piece of human trash. And they're the most terrible person, and nothing bad happens to them. Yeah, I'm like, I know they these keep, They keep succeeding, and I'm like, yep. I'm like, we haven't done fucking one percent of the things this person has done, and they're fine. So it's like this weird notion that it's all gonna like you know gonna go away because we're hated all of a sudden. Yeah, it's like, like well, why this person's not hated, <laughs> right. and this person's not hated. We're probably okay. How do you yeah, minimize but, letting uh, the hate? Because there will be just sure. inherently because and, and there will be. Yeah, because you're dealing with opinions, right? And yep, and, and yep. then people get stronger opinions. And then oh yeah. They, and then we're very loose as a culture. I right? think our society is throwing around the term hate. I mean, like you're yeah, like, oh, yeah. I hate that. You know, do you really yeah, hate yeah, that? Yeah. But like, how do you minimize it? Tom and I and Sam were talking about this actually before we even cracked the mics today. How do you minimize the if something d is said that gets under your skin that shakes sure. your confidence about sure. the future, which is what we were kind of talking about this morning? That happens. Yeah. How do you deal with it? I, I try to. I mean, in moments, I mean, it definitely like uh, can hurt or whatever. You're like, oh, that's stung. You know, that's stung or whatever. It's like you know, natural like human emotion. I remember when I started. Specifically with podcasting, I did look at like other people's, like on Apple, it's easy to read the comment feeds yeah. of people who I thought were good and very successful. Huge podcast. And no matter who it was, there was, even if it was a small ratio, at least like one out of 20 of people leaving the worst comments yeah. of like, this person's a fucking, I, I hope they die. Like, like just horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I can't stand the way they talk. I hate everything about there them. There it is, yeah. And, and, it, and I was like, holy shit. Like, I didn't really look into that troll culture before that that hard. And then I just started going to like, Person after they prefer person troll after per troll -sure. <laughs> troll -sure. troll -sure. It's hard to say. It's, it's, like, it's like Chaucer. You know, it's Chaucer. Like, yeah, Chaucer. <laughs> Chaucer. <laughs> but like that, I always kind of think back to that. And um, and I mean, 
honestly, just uh, being a dude, it is easier. The, the fucking misogyny yeah. is so real Correct. on a uh, podcast. Holy shit. <laughs> Everyone well wants me to die on well, this podcast. Well, no, like it's anything, crazy, anything Sam says, even if it's good, a lot of opening lines are, Love your tits. Anyway, you know, yep, <laughs> just yep, that's the only top. positive. I yeah, guess. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and uh, where, I don't know. Lindsay, so Lindsay's yeah. had to deal with that, so it's like I, yeah. I, I have oh, to I talk to her about like I'll show her other people. She's I'm like, so sweet. I'm like, look at you know uh, my favorite murder. These hugely yeah. successful yeah. podcasts, great podcast. And if you look at my favorite murder, I mean, it's like probably one in five, one in six of basically like I want these bitches to die. Yeah. Like people just fucking hate. There are, and I'm like that. I so, do so, not get it. What man. is there's no there yeah. are dudes out women there. Women hate. I do not get. There I want to be kept it's by real. women. I want women to what take care it? of me and make more money than me. And it, there's is that trauma <laughs> or damage or something? Like, because yeah. there, are, there are men yes. out there that like despise women. Well, just of, because they're women, I'm like, what is it? Why? 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 It's there weird. are a lot of incels. incels yeah. You know, it's like uh, people who, <laughs> you know that. Just weird dude mentality. And there's so many people who are un unrealistic about where they are in the world. I remember, yeah. I, I've probably said this on other podcasts, but there was a couple buddies of mine in college that were having romantic problems. They were always, uh, couldn't get the girl they wanted. And these guys were both um, pretty overweight and bad hygiene. <laughs> and they were chasing girls who were uh, not overweight and had good hygiene. And I just had a very honest talk with them. Where I'm like, hey guys, I'm like, think about who you're chasing and think about what you look like. And how you're taking care of yourself. And one of these guys did start working out. I'm not. I'm sure not just in that one conversation, but he did. He cleaned up. I mean, this guy. He wasn't washing his hair. I mean, he was fucking dirty. Uh, yeah. he, was he was a gross, yeah. dirty yeah. dude. And it's like, and uh, it, but like a lot of guys won't. He like both of them actually eventually cleaned their shit up and got the got the their equivalent. You know, like which is I think all of us, all any of us can hope for. Uh, right, right. You know? Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, there's a lot of people who won't do that, though. I think there's a lot of women hate from dudes. It's like, okay, you make no effort to be a fucking nice person, to uh, have a decent personality, on and on and on, and you want these girls you see on Instagram, whatever, and they don't want anything to do with you because you've allowed yourself to be a fucking weird creep. And rather than take personal responsibility for the fact that you're a fucking dirty creep, <laughs> yeah. you instead, it's easier just to be like, well, fuck these bitches. Yeah. And, and just to hate. I'm going to send I think a lot of people these guys do that. hate to Dan Cummins to fight for me. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're a fucking piece of shit gross human being. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There, are, yeah. Yeah. there are a lot it of people who allow themselves to be fucking losers just with their mentality and they just take it out in the world. You know, it's like very few people that I've found in life will take responsibility for their own. Like, like, like we had a, a, a parenting thing a while back with Kyler. Um, he was upset about some stuff. And my initial reaction was to be like, well, you don't know anything. You're a kid. But I know I let it sink in and it was hard to get like some negative feedback about. And, and but then we made changes and our relationship has been so much better after this little blip. And but I found like my, you know, like a lot of people, my friend's parents wouldn't have done that. Hell, hell! Like shut the fuck up! Yeah, you little I, I, I didn't yeah. want to laugh yep. in your face when you, you said mean, that. Yeah. Face? <laughs> of course not. Are you but, crazy? But we try not to be the people we get frustrated by, and and just when you start to notice that, it's it's it's, un, it's unfortunate that a lot of people just won't deal with their own shit. Yeah, they it, won't self reflect. Nope, at they won't all. self reflect. Yeah. They, it's much easier to just uh, leave shitty comments on other people's things and just be a dick of a person yeah. because then it, then it's all external. It's, you don't ever have to. You don't have ever have to deal with your own stuff if you just hate on everybody. It's a, it's always everybody else's problem. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. That's a horrible uh, like personality trait to have. Yeah. Which I'm going to teach my sons. Like, just look at yourself first. And oh, my all daughter the, already does it. Every yes. single I can't, uh, I can't help her. Bad thing that happens <laughs> to you. Like, look at yourself or what you're doing yeah. first. Don't blame other people. Um, so Dan, uh, sorry, what, and, and I just oh. just to throw my so I don't sound arrogant. I also did that with myself at work too. It's like I would find myself getting frustrated with everybody working for me, and they're not bad people. But a, a, a real eventually, I had that you know like talk. I'm like, it's you, dude. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, it's not oh, every single other person. I'm I like, gotta work on me. Yep, Damn it, you are unreasonable yeah. in your expectations, and you're a shitty communicator, and you have a temper. And so like I have made and now that I'm aware of that, I'm like, oh yeah, like that's how people see me. Of like, I've had to work on like calming down and talking to people just like nicer. And, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, I think about this actually. Just sorry, and I'm not. But it's but, like, good though. But yeah. uh, one time it was uh, years ago at the gym at YMCA uh, in Santa Monica. There was this group of kids that were always teens. I say kids. They're probably like 18, 19, 20. Oh. Always working out when I was there, and I just I don't know something rubbed me the wrong way about them when I first saw them, and I just didn't like. And I thought they were pompous dicks. 
and this probably went on for a year and a half, like a long time. Where I'm mean mugging <laughs> these kids. <laughs> oh shit! For a long <laughs> time. A year and a half. Like I a long time. I didn't expect that time reveal. No, this I didn't is good. Yeah. It was a long I time. It was like a month and a yeah, half. Yeah, man, I'm in. <laughs> this is compelling. I'm in. It was a long time. He had this silent feud with these two. Yeah, it was crazy. I'm crazy for the whole length of the pandemic. Oh, no, and this is like ten years ago. No, I'm just putting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For the pandemic. Oh my god, that's a long time. <laughs> Finally, one day, this one he just like said something <laughs> super nice to me. He was like, "Oh man, uh, something I don't know, whatever Guns I was doing." Look great, bro. <laughs> something. Man, he had a great looking cock. <laughs> and, and then he smiled. And then I relaxed and like had a conversation with him. And then he was super nice, as were all of his friends. And I realized, no, you're the asshole. You have I have a, a dick face. I have an asshole. <laughs> face. I've never heard and, of and like I have a hard resting dick face. <laughs> oh, okay. And that's the image I gave to them, and they responded to that. And then I'm seeing their response as actually them being the aggressor, which was not true. Yeah, and I yeah. made up this whole thing in my head. But it's like, and then since then, it's like, I try to smile more. And I try to just not look like a fucking dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It's hard to do with you. It's hard to be cognizant of you. <laughs> I try <laughs> not to look like a dickhead. But Lindsay was like, and she's very honest. She's like, yeah, you look like an asshole. Just <laughs> like your natural way you look. If you don't smile, <laughs> you just like, look like an asshole. Yeah, with the beard. And, and the coming way. from the lady that loves you. I know. Yeah. 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 So, she's uh, awesome. Uh, so, Dan, last question for you, because I feel like um, you get influenced oh, by- Oh, snag your tickets. Uh, just another reminder. Oh, yeah. If you're in the chat the room improv. right now, I mean, you're you're they're trickling away. Yeah, go see Dan at the Improv. He's going to be at the Orlando Improv, uh, theorlandoimprov.com mm -hmm. for tickets. Um, I love that room. But yeah. um, like, if you talk to lawyers, they <laughs> they are constantly worried. They're like, oh, everybody's going to sue you because that's all oh, they deal with, right? Yeah, that's and the easy then the it, so and then every other category is like you get consumed with your work, and then it starts affecting your yes. outlook on life. Yes. And I was going to ask you from years of doing content on. Serial killers and murderers <laughs> we, and weird conspiracy theories. We have theories. flagged this from like yeah. day one. Well, so, not day one, but after we saw and would ingest what you were laying down there. <laughs> because my wife worked for WESH here in town, a news station, and she covered a lot of horrible stories. Yeah. I mean, it's got to have an effect. So do you yeah. at all get like you're out camping with your family and <laughs> you're, like, you're like, fucking we can get killed by a serial killer. Yeah, because you've you got know. all the Slender Man knowledge in your brain. That's, you've got it all. And that's, and, and, and that's there, not even a scary one because it's not real. Uh, you know the real ones where people are yeah. eating people's uteruses and wearing them as hats. So oh my God. Yeah. That and uh, are there any conspiracy theories that you're like, oh, I could see that. That kind of, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 uh, you know, you start. That was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, like, uh, the, I mean, luckily, uh, I'm a big fan of numbers, analytics, so it's like, you know, yes, we talk about these horrible serial killers, but I, I am aware that I am not the prime demographic mm -hmm. for almost any of them, and then also, like, the numbers society-wide are pretty small. I get more worried about uh, where my head gets, uh, maybe as a parent, and then just dealing with too many dirtbags who mess with kids. Those numbers oh, yeah. are s terrifying. Like yeah, it, it yeah. just, I'm like Jesus Christ. I'm like, why can't more people just keep away from fucking kids? Like, just stop touching kids. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And so yeah. then that makes me paranoid. Like, I am more. Par it's probably soaked in where uh, I, <laughs> when my kids were younger. I'm sure they're gonna talk to me about it when they're older. I, I think I checked in with him way too much about like, so uh, no one's uh, be weird around you. Uh, I was always fishing. <laughs> I'm all like, yeah, new yeah. teacher. I'm like, so yeah. uh, I mean, but he's not touching you, right? <laughs> <laughs> was, go real quick to like, like no one's the touching you, right? Problem, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then and like and like. Uh, <laughs> and I'm sure like very quick also to be like because if they are I mean like you don't have to talk to the police I'm like I'll fucking go to your school tomorrow I'll fucking walk in there I'll I'll fucking be, put that guy in the hospital like like just yeah. real crazy uh, where uh, I've had to like work on not letting my what I'm working on make me think that like they're just everywhere yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. that so that's something I do have to work on because uh, it does get in your head. Yeah, you know, when you're working like these pieces of shit over and over, you're like, Jesus Christ, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, there's a lot of pedophiles more than serial God. killers. It's like yeah. the, the pedophilia yeah. thing is like terrifying, and then or just uh, but there's more sexual serial pre killers. I feel like than you rec than you know either, right? There's there's a, there's quite a few. Yeah, but it's, it's got to feel. Less, though. I it's mean, like less, sexual less. Be real, are... be real. It's got to feel. A, I'm not saying good. I would yeah. never label it good. Sure, sure. But it does. It's got to feel a little like you know sense of accomplishment. You're a little pumped up if you're walking around and you've got like 70, 80 people you've killed sure. and no one knows. And you, put, you know, I mean, just everybody like wants little... to be good at their job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> everybody wants to have a skill. Exactly. You know, it's like yeah, it's bad, but sure, is there a pride? Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you're Dexter. Flag that box. <laughs> <laughs> Flag it. <laughs> no, and then the conspiracy thing. Um, I, you know, I have to work on like not thinking that everybody is conspiratorial maybe when you come across these, 
But um, but I am open to some conspiracies being real. I mean, it's like uh, I because I do try to take an open mind, and I will say like I make fun of. Well, right now I talk about it in the stand up. I do make fun of some of the conspiracies that have come out around COVID while also tipping my hat to the conspiracy crowd where I'm like, yeah, but of course you're going to be concerned about big pharma. Hello, opioid crisis. Yeah. It's like you have this, you know, this huge where all this money is going to be made. Billions of dollars in profits are made on these vaccines. And we're supposed to like just implicitly trust all the people when they, when that uh, people from that same group were like, pain management just not that long ago they're like oh you can trust us we have all these doctors saying this is totally fine they convinced all these doctors and it was fucking horrible and they knew that the whole time so when then people think the same thing about like a vaccine it's like I, I yeah. do have to respect, like, I understand where your concerns Why wouldn't you from. apply your logic yeah. to yep. that? Sure. Yep. 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 Yeah, that kind of math, uh, I can yeah. see it. And yeah. I think the CIA killed JFK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's, like, the... the uh, I'll tell you, like, I'm not, a, you know, into conspiracy theories, yeah. but things like... I remember a time where, like, hey, uh, your phone, Alexa, they're all listening to you, and they're recording what you say, and I'm like, no, they're... Like, oh, there yeah. was a time where, no, they're not... Until... We saw the goddamn proof, and then we yep. know that right. they are. And then you're like, "Oh yeah, they are listening to what I say, and they're, uh, they're are, running yeah. ads to about what I said." They were and, listening to us with the Patriot Act a long we, time ago. Would anything <laughs> happen? And then you're though, like, "Oh, it's true." Okay, if every afternoon <laughs> yeah. I like come home from the show, and I walk into the house. Andrea's downstairs, home office, doing her thing, and I just kind of walk by my Alexa, and I'm like. I think she knows that I'm going to kill her today. <laughs> and I do, if, I, if I do that repetitively for one full year, yeah. nothing will become of it, right? <laughs> Well, they just they like, start getting gun like, ads. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 but yeah, like awesome. if I if I'm like some rope. <laughs> if, I, if every time I walk, <laughs> but Home like, Depot's having a rope sale. <laughs> what would happen if I did that? And I'm like, now's not the time. It's just not the time. But I was still planning on killing my wife. Like, <laughs> would because that's it's what all, you're let's you're test fearful. It out. My point is, you're fearful that the government, uh, the man in the sky, you know, Joe Alexa, is downloading all of you, and he knows everything that yeah. you're going to do. My point is, I have no. I'm like you've always said this. I don't really. Ha- I'm not boring. I have nothing to hide. If I continue to say that, I just kind of feel like I'm so boring and not important that even the government would be like, "Yeah, we got this guy. He's been saying he's going to kill his he's wife for an entire year." No, like I don't. Is it used like that? Is that how no, it's used? How do they even find that out? How do they flag it? It's for mo- everything's for money. Follow the money. And they, they, it's just that they, all they want to. Av- they want to advertise to you. They don't give two shits about solving crimes. <laughs> they just want to uh, market to you uh, yeah. because. And the same thing with like a pharmaceutical company and stuff. Right. It's, it's really is like the, when it comes to all they care about is money. That's true. Yep, that's, that, how, that's all. And, it is. and those are the conspiracies that always have legs to me. Where it's like you know when people start going off about you know there's so many satanic conspiracies. That is just I'm not a religious person. I, I'm just like what do you do? No, like yeah. there's not some weird group of people in robes chanting because they want to drink of adrenochrome so mm. they can live forever. Like that stuff. I'm like you're fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. But if there's money, that is the one that always resonates. I'm like, because that has it, it is true that cliche of money makes the world go round. Yeah, yeah. If there's enough profit incentive, then people are going to do it. Sure. Yeah and, yeah. and it's like that's how you get the equivalent of the Illuminati. There's not some fucking group of dudes meeting in a cave, you know, with their um, hoods and stuff, you know, and talking and, and, work, and giving, doing satanic rituals so they get to keep like controlling the world. They're just people who figured out ways to make a fuckload of money and then they just want to keep making that money and if people die so they can keep making that money it's like well then so be it and i'm sure they rationalize it and it's like well that's just what happens we're just the weirdos they get hung up on the robe the jiggy jaggy dagger (laughs) well that's the fun part fun yeah Yeah. Yeah. i wish that was true really just that'd be exciting old guys in a boardroom making money (laughs) looking at graphs of how much money taking advantage of tax loopholes and there have been uh, uh actual cases of like you know quote unquote satanic you know people who uh, in their mind, at least, are worshiping a Christian devil and uh, going to appease them with like sacrifices. If you look into it, it's almost always like a small group of people, like they're fucking doing a crazy amount of meth, and they're well, we uh, have all a lot living of them the same here in Florida, and they're all living in the same trailer, yeah. and they have like pentagram tattoos, yep. and they kill two people, and it's like as opposed to Warren Buffett. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's like those guys don't give a fuck about that stuff. No. They don't need to. They know yeah. how to manipulate the stock market. They know how to like push things that don't require any of that. Sure. They're out on a yacht somewhere laughing at people thinking 
that you need some satanic influence to do that. You know. Well, there's, you know, uh, yeah. The dollar I'll, influence. Although I'm sure you've done, done a show about it, but the, what's that plate? The Bohemian Grove? I just that. That yeah. shit is real. Oh. That's, that's like a social club, right? Yeah, yeah. but, yeah. but like it's like a club and they don't yeah. do anything crazy That might as weird, well be the Spearmint yeah. Rhino. Know or do. It's, it's <laughs> networking. All those fraternal yeah. order things. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, yeah, if you're if you're in the top 1% of the top 1% of income earners and you have all this influence and you can partner, if you're a real estate mogul and you can partner up with an oil mogul and you can partner up with a tech person to create even more fucking money. It's like, that's what Bohemian Grove in those places are. It's the, it's the people, it's the industry leaders getting together to figure out how to, you know, that's, they wouldn't get to that place unless they cared a lot about their job and they care and they were very ambitious and they wanted to take things further and further. The Elon Musk's, the Bill Gates, like, mm. well, yeah, the course they're smart. They're fucking smart. They're industrious. And they know that there's power in networking, and that's all that stuff is. 100%. It's like, yeah, you meet, and it's like, yeah, nefarious things do happen because of that. You know, like not some, all person, not some all people are world, good. Yeah, some third world country, their workers are going to get motherfucked yeah. again. So this this person over here can make you know two percent more profit. Wall Street is, and I'm a uh, someone who invests, but I invest knowing that Wall Street is more evil than all of these supposed like uh, you know uh, little fucking. Cults and yeah, things, you know, sure. of the, the the not even real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we have a listener, and I'll leave you with this because yeah. I, I don't want to take up all of his time. But mm. we, we have a listener that played piano for a meeting at Bohemian Grove. I can't tell you who it is. Ah, yeah. But yeah. we have a listener. He's a he's a uh, uh, yeah. I can't tell you who it is. But we, remember, we did an interview with him. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'd love to go to Bohemian Grove. Yeah, like he he got to go there. And but they you gotta sign in. NDAs and a bunch yeah. of stuff. Yeah. If you show went. me the demon's dick, I have to sign, <laughs> right? and I'll put it in my fucking mouth. And he he was a jazz. <laughs> he's doing the thing and playing with a band at yeah. the thing, and he was like, "Yeah, it was crazy." He yeah. was like, "Anybody and everybody of influence, you know, you had yeah. chancellors and presidents and Baphomet, take me to Bohemian <laughs> Grove." <laughs> <laughs> well, Dan, thanks so much for stopping by, man. We really appreciate it. Uh, uh, thanks, man. And we uh, love you, buddy. Again, thanks for getting me started on this path again. I, I say it all the yeah, time, but it's like, you nah. guys are the best. Dude, we, I mean, Pod, we, we knew that you, like, uh, I mean, shit. We knew uh, it when all was along. It? We knew it all well, along. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what yeah. you were going to say. It's, we knew we talked to the Illuminati uh, correspondents. Yeah. Sure. They yeah. told us it was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I'm just, we're always excited to, uh, for your success and, uh, and, you know, we uh, hope to do more things with you in the future. Yeah, I mean, I want to do more things with you guys. Yeah, yeah. All you guys. Samantha, I mean, you know what? Chrissy, you're here, so you're you're invited. <laughs> uh, yeah. Everybody. Seth, Seth's in the lobby. Uh, <laughs> no. He kept his goatee. My God. Oh, so God. go see Dan at the Orlando Improv. Uh, I'm telling you, get your tickets while it lasts, because BDMs are going to sell it out. Yeah, sure. link is in the Twitch chat room. Oh, Twitch.tv nice, slash Tom and Dan live. We'll take a quick break. Uh, all right, music-wise. What do I got here today? The name of the band is Sweat. The name of the song is Hit and Run. That's what we're going to do right now. It's, um, it's hard. So enjoy this, and we'll be right back with more A Media Overtime. That is the Warhawks with This Ain't Art. Welcome back to a Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. Tom. Samantha, I believe, is in the restroom. And uh, Seth is here. What's up, buddy? Hi, hi. How you doing? Oh, What's wrong? Why are you sad? Loud. No, I'm fine. Uh, Dan, I'm uh, I think he turned up his hey, headphones. Hey, is he okay? Is he here okay? <laughs> he <laughs> he man, man. I don't even think he wore them. I mean, he uh, does 5 million podcasts. Yeah, so he yeah. Oh, yeah he didn't even wear them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he wore them. He did man. not wear yeah, them. They're probably just cranked up. For oh, the last guy, our last guest, COVID Joe wore them. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. He died. <laughs> yeah, he passed yeah, away. Yeah. He got the quick COVID. Yeah. Um, so, Seth, <laughs> I saw you, a listener, I think it was a BDM, posted a picture of you walking down the street dressed like a ninja with your Ninja, it's a traditional <laughs> Japanese karate dogi. Now, a dogi? <laughs> karate dogi. Hello, little dogi. You, you had the slippers. No, it's, it's actually hak- oh, it's the hakama. I wore the hakama that day. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hakama. 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 That's what I wear when I do the about the, the sword class. That's that's the traditional. Oh, that's you had a sword? <laughs> I had a real live badass. I don't think you're supposed to be sword. walking through the streets of Orlando with a sword. Oh, I a did. Permit. And then I went ran down Colonial. Obviously, you saw my post after that. I posted all over Instagram. Me and my buddy, my giant, seven foot tall, 300 pound, long, blonde haired guy with another sword. 
running down Colonial what? with the swords out, like screaming, ah, filming. Stuff. Why? Not for social media. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're running down the street. For the clicks. Yeah, by the way, this is only things white people could do. <laughs> because, yeah. <laughs> because nobody True else would yeah. yeah, 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 be killed instantly. Yeah. yeah. They were having a They knew it was the Asian Fest parade, so it was fine. I yeah. don't think it's, is it called Asian Fest? Or is that? The Chinese New Year. They, they have Asian Fest. No, that's a thing. Asian also, Fest I think the thing. last black guy that did have a samurai sword got shot or something. Like, that's a true thing. I think Tom's like, I think that is I'll rooted in fact. Um, I don't think so. So uh, we <laughs> heard that you bought a new truck, and we talked to you. Yeah, not a just bit a about truck. Anybody can go out and buy a truck. You go out there and buy like a, a 2006, a Ford F-150, hunk of shit. Yeah, yeah. A- anybody can do that. He didn't buy that. He bought a 2020 mm. Ford Raptor. Yeah, yeah. Which is like uh, a mega truck. No, it's not that. Me- it's nice though. I like. I it's like it. a factory custom. Yeah. It's an expensive. It's like a ninety thousand yeah, yeah. dollar truck, right? Uh, no, I mean eighty something. 80, 90, <laughs> who's counting? Mm, so, uh... Tom likes to get you in here and really uh, put the screws <laughs> gonna, on your yo, finances. Uh, how's it been? Yeah, it's been good? You yeah, do uh, have good. the beard of a dickhead <laughs> who spends too much money. <laughs> 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 you do. Yeah. You're happy. <laughs> you yeah. yeah. so, I'll buy what I want. I'm, I was, a, I'm a goddamn dickhead. Now, I, I was just going to do, yeah. yeah. do this for the night. I'm a dollar I, dickhead. I decided just to keep it up. <laughs> I, now, what is uh, what does your beautiful girlfriend, Tracy, have to say about your Paul Sr.? documentary the younger years she she doesn't mind i don't know she goes back and forth when people ask her she's like oh my god but then when she's with me she's like i don't mind it i don't mind it so i think she's oh just, i like oh, i like that she's, she's like mixed signals i like that yeah, exactly. when you're so I really alone she's she like, like i like it i like it when you get out she's like he looks like shit yeah pretty much <laughs> yeah I, I do feel like there's some sort of transition happening where it's like all this money yeah. spending and the goatee and, yeah. yeah i'm gonna get rid of this in like a you're week pretty close to having a, a, a next tell on the outside <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you got like a construction, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right maybe. with the truck. Yeah, well, you what, know. Once this gets longer, it won't look like that. I'm oh, try, you oh. want to appropriate? I okay, <laughs> I got it. All right, the center too. So, so you want a long white Fu Manchu? <laughs> yeah, that's that's not correct. That's not PC anymore. You can't say Fu Manchu. Anymore. You can't say Fu Manchu. What's I that particular? That. Uh, <laughs> I don't have to think of a new name because you're not. How about to say a Fu, Fu Man Manchu? dude? Yeah. Well, why aren't you allowed to say it? I don't know. My Japanese friend said that it's not it's not correct to say that. So. I was like, okay, okay. well, hey. Uh, then, I, then I got mad at him because he's not Chinese. He's Japanese. So man. I'm like, you can't tell me. Dirty days, look at these. You're like, what do you know? Yeah. Different countries. Yeah, yeah. But I don't so know. Let, I would look that up, Sam, because I'm all about learning. If you're not allowed to say that anymore, like long time no see. You shouldn't say that anymore. That's making fun of of an Asian see. broken English when um, they use it in uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. The whole character that uh, I think it's Mickey Rooney does is uh, is very much a negative Asian stereotype. So when you say to somebody, long time no see, you're saying it's been a long time since I've seen you. And you're mocking Asian people that they're, they're broken <laughs> English. They would yeah. be what? Wait, long I'm time so no confused. see. Like, that's what they're. That's why you shouldn't say it. So <laughs> well, you, know. you say it like that. then yeah. it's in, uh, but, but my point is, no, is you when people ask. Pull your where eyes they, back. So it's OK. <laughs> my point is, is when people ask, that's why. Right. Yeah, so yeah. this has to have an origin story of why we called it. There's, There's a band. literally a, a phrase in Japanese that means long time no see. Hey, Sashi Booty. That means long time no see. <laughs> hey, hey, Sushi Booty. <laughs> hey, Sushi no, Booty. Now you, guys, now you guys are just making fun of the language. That's no, cool. but I yeah. like saying, hey, Sashi Booty. <laughs> From what, I, from what I have found, it is because the movie Dr. Fu Manchu was basically uh, like doing yellow face. Like it was like a right, white dude Like Mickey like Rooney so, was so doing in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Referencing it yeah. at all is you nah. know, supposed to be racist. So, Seth, a Chinese you, mustache. Have you tried? Uh, I like that. Yeah, Chinese mustache. VR porn, because we're going to set it up for you after this next no, break. No, but I keep seeing some really well, good ads for it as I'm on Pornhub. And sir, I'm, like, oh, I'm going to set you up. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to, I got the, we, we have our VR unit here okay. ready to go. And in the next break, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. I'm going to set it up for you. <laughs> to go one on one with Riley Reed, <laughs> you're gonna okay. get the squirt right in the face. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna set it all up, buddy. I'm gonna introduce yeah. you. It, it's pr- Wait, I don't want you standing in front of me with a squirt gun. No, no, I wouldn't do that. To the VR. Real. No, no. See how real it is? We're, we're, no, we're using actual PP. I would expect nothing less. Thank um, you. But no, it, it. I think I made Tom a believer. And the one that I downloaded yesterday, I was able to get my hands on it. My my home unit on an, on an 8K. Eight? Woo! What's the thing? It's. I will say that it's a little too close. If any, <laughs> if VR porn directors are out there listening, if anybody that dabbles in this, when you put the the butthole 
Oh, come on. You you want a you want a solid. Come on. I mean, for my for my depth of field, I need like five inches off my nose. <laughs> when you get it too close, then I cross my eyes. Look at <laughs> it. You know, I, it needs yeah, to. Yeah. But the but the fact that there is depth is fucking amazing. It's amazing, really? dude. I mean, it looks like. I mean, you can't touch it yet, but I'm telling you. It does it not look like a real butt? It's, I mean, the it's real a different size. Just stand in front of me and shave your butt, and I won't care the difference. I'll we'll see it. And I'll, stand my in mind front will, of me and shave your butt. <laughs> stand in front of me and shave your butt and bend over, and I'll just pretend it's real, and it'll be the same thing to me. I would. He wants care. to grope we'll, you. We'll show. Uh, no, 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 yeah. Tom. I'll show Tom. Tom. I'll show. Tom's got a flat <laughs> frog butt. <laughs> I got mine is mine is more round. I have the roundest butt. I think I do have a little bit of a frog. It's ass. a frog ass. Dude, Mine's yeah. a little round. Seth does too, though. I have a frog ass. I have a because of my. My M word tendencies. I have. <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, tell, yeah, yeah. Because of it, my M word tendencies. Yeah, yeah. I have a bit of a. a I have a bit of a little people big world butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Let's do some uh, news. Uh, Seth, are you ready? All right. Uh, do you, did know. he even pull news? I don't know. I have. I every day I'm on the internet. I just find news and I. All put right. It on my well, own. let's put it to the test. News today brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go, Just Call Mo. Uh, the DeWitt Law Firm will help you out. All right, Seth, Mo what's the call first my brother one? back. He's, my, my brother actually called Mo. Oh, really? He's going through some stuff. <laughs> yeah. uh, injured on the go? Uh, no, more like... Heart injured on the go. Crazy ex-wife. No. Baker acted on the go. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I don't that. know if you're not that. allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, sorry. It, it sounds like a better act than it is. <laughs> it <does. laughs> so when you yeah. like, I, I always go to cookies. I always <laughs> yeah. go, do you go cookies? Oh, and you got Baker act? I'm like, like, yeah, like, it sounds better than it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fabulous Baker Boys. Like, a good movie. Like, oh, Baking, Baker's Chocolate. I wanted a cake. And I, Josephine in, Baker, Forbidden <laughs> Banana Dance. There's a lot of good Baker stuff. I'm in a weird uh, area of the hospital I've never seen. <laughs> yeah. Why well, is everything's, everything's I can't very leave. soft here? Yeah. Um, what do we got? All right, I'm starting off with a good one. A 53 year old took himself to the emergency room with abdominal pain that has been building for three days. He had swelling, nausea. Uh, more alarmingly, he was un uh, experiencing pain in his right leg, uh, and he was unable to move it for the past 24 hours. So he was par his leg was paralyzed. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the leg that the doctors could see, but after some MRIs and a rectal examination, it revealed that the man had impacted st st stools. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even mean to laugh at that. Oh <laughs> that yeah, you, scan, you, wait, 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 you're a 44 year old. Have like, you ever watched watch a special needs kid see a butterfly? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, crazy. Why would happen? you do wait, that? Wait, 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 shut up. A scan of his abdomen. This guy's rich. <laughs> a, scan, a scan of his abdomen revealed that he was suffering from massive fecal compaction and potentially life threatening abdominal compartment syndrome. Increased pressure on the abdomen and his heart from shit. Being I up. was compacted oh. one time and I had to go to the doctor. I got an impaction one time. I've never told this story. Uh, Maybe I have. I got an impaction one time. Uh, I was dating the, the girl who eventually killed herself. Oh, she, um, I don't know why I had to say that. Yeah. And I went to Halifax uh, Hospital and they pulled out the, the wand they're like, sir, we believe you have an impaction. We've done some x-rays, and there's a lot of doo-doo in there. <laughs> oh, I'm So they brought out this wand <laughs> that was hooked to, like, a w water thing. And the wand looks like a very skinny, like, uh, like maybe a wand. foot and three inches. Yeah, like yeah. A, but like a, almost like a wand a woman would pleasure herself with. But it was uh, flesh-colored, and they stuck it in there, and it had holes all in it. Like, it was like a... 
Like where water could come oh, off. Yeah, and then they put it in my butt, and then they filled me up full of water, and I had to hold it for a certain amount of time, and then I go sit on the toilet, and it, all oh, the doo doo came out, and they're like, "You're good." And I mean, that was just it. Take some laxative. How much you think it that wasn't was? Morgan? It wasn't Morgan. Um, I like these stories because it's the exact opposite <laughs> of Seth and Daniel, and the fact that like, and you'll hear these where like. A uh, woman has 84 pound tumor that's been growing for seven years. Yeah. And then, like, this guy, he his legs stopped working. Like, he yeah, like, obviously he knew he hasn't doo dooed in days, right? Like, so, and never thought to go to the hospital. He had to wait until his legs stopped working. And then he had extreme pain. I and didn't finally know that doo doo could stop your legs from working. Yeah. Uh, and it was, he was going into well, renal failure because it was, it was doing something on his kidneys, uh, metabolic acidosis, I guess. So he was, like, literally ready to die from it. Uh, crazy. It's Biggie Smalls. Like, uh, uh, how do you not what's, what's realize you haven't doo dooed in such? A, you know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, something. How regular wrong. are you? I'm regular, Danny. Like when I wake up, it's like, ding, time to doo doo. <laughs> I go there, it all falls out. On with my day. Into the day. Or you guys see it here? I get up. I'm like, we're done recording. I'm like, yep. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel like that ties into being in tune to your body, right? Like well, Seth probably you know, monitors. You're regular, doing, right? Like oh, you yeah, have every a, day. Like what time? What's every? Oh, every morning. For what? Sure. Well, like six a.m. Or you're up early, early, right? No, I'm up, I'm up at like nine thirty a.m. Oh my god, you're nine thirty. So I don't go to bed. I don't go to bed till like two. 2 oh, okay, like night out. Two o'clock. So yeah, I don't get home from the dojo until like ten ish. Eat, watch about hour TV, fall asleep around one thirty. Gotcha. When does the old man clock kick in? <laughs> it's been like, kicking in because my sleep has been horrible lately. Like I can't, I can't stay asleep. The mustache. Uh, like <laughs> well, because really. usually, usually, <laughs> as you get older, right, you start waking up earlier. That's the thing. Right? My wife has been battling that. She gets up at six. Her alarm, her alarm oh. goes off at six thirty, but she gets really mad. She's like, naturally, I'm just waking up at six, and I'm like, well, that's your body telling you you're, you know, you're awake, you're good. Yeah, yeah. But she values her sleep to a point of like almost to the point of like it'll be a fight. Like, God forbid any of you ever like on this camping trip, like if you were to make a very loud noise that woke Andrea up in the tent, like if you camped next to us and you got up early and you're banging pots and pans, she would be so fucking mad at you. Like people don't know this about uh, Andrea, but the big some of the biggest fights her and I've ever gotten into have to do with her sleep and her and the amount of like don't mess with it she puts around oh, like she dude this week is gonna be horrible because my oh. buddy turkey lake is, <laughs> I know. Is sleep apnea store I know. you can literally <laughs> hear him my wife to be mad like, <laughs> and then expect like, <laughs> andrea to be mad we were like you could hear him die multiple times you have her number night. right you could even call her and talk to her about it it's ridiculously weird how angry oh. she gets like if you like there have been times where i've moved her pillow just because i thought it was my pillow or something like that in the bed she's like why are you doing that what the fuck you know like <laughs> mad is, and and then we'll hold that grudge all day you ruined my sleep you got me up early i got up 10 minutes early uh, what this, are you doing these next two oh, days man. are going to be the worst sleep you've ever had <laughs> because the mix uh, i'm pretty positive about it i'm like yeah it'll be fine no yeah, it'll be fine but it's just going to be it'd be sleeping in the tent no matter what it's mm. your goddamn air mattress starts i'm deflating. glad she's in the chat yeah, room she says i'm bringing uh earplugs because of turkey leg and a sleep mask but uh, but straight up, you are my wife in the chat room. You are very mean about your sleep. You're a mean woman when it comes to your sleep. And I don't think people know that sometimes she even has to go and apologize to me like, hey, I'm sorry. I was like, I was a jerk. Um, I, I don't get very good sleep either. And I've always it's battled it. The past year has been the absolute worst sleep I've ever gotten. I actually just had a sleep study done last week. I was in the... I had to sit with all the wires on my face. And You've had those before, right? No, that was the first one. I had the take-home one. And it never not, show, it not never show anything. I'm like, this is bullshit. I Do know. you think I, you need a CPAP? Why are you doing it? No, I, just because I keep waking up. Sometimes, like, occasionally I'll go and, like, wake myself oh. up. With, like, like, or the choke type thing. But that's only happened, like, maybe, like, four or five times. But most of the time... Was Tracy on top of you choking you? Like, <laughs> no. Okay. That's an apnea. You start choking. I know. I, I, I know. And I told it. her that. But she's like, well, she's like, sometimes it happens. Some you can't people, fight that either. Like, well, I mean, yeah, no, if you that, you just you die. You'll just die. Shut up. I know. And it's you, coming for you. It doesn't, and you know, in that, fact, that mustache might be blocking your airways a little bit. <laughs> you might want to shave that off to get maximum oxygen in there. 
It, young girls love sleeping next to a guy with a full <laughs> mask yeah, on yeah, and yeah. a pump and shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> and strapped your head down. How many guys have ever made love to their wife while the CPAP's on? Oh, I'm sure. It, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's disgusting. It is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's vile. They're blobbing them. Yeah. 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 You're just blobbing them. <laughs> and there's all kinds of right. boogers in that thing. Next so door. anyway, the guy removed oh. over a uh, half gallon, so it was like two liters or over a half gallon of poop they took out from him. So oh, my like, God. It's, it's disgusting. So, all right, next story. <laughs> Uh, so Daniel Christensen, he's a 14 year old from Denmark. He was given homework about World War II and crazily, he ended up finding a German fighter plane with the pilot's skeleton still inside the cockpit on his grandfather's farm. Well, he gets an A plus. You, figured, you, figured, <laughs> no, you no, found I, a Nazi. Great like, job. Like I've been really the reason I picked the story is because I'm really into World War II. Lately, I'm watching all sorts of documentaries, getting into it and stuff like that. Uh, another old man. <laughs> write that down. Write that down. Oh, uh, Tracy loves it. Pap his no, no, she's into it too. I promise. Oh, she's yeah, yeah, she loves it. Yeah. She goes, I'm yeah, like, in between TikTok <laughs> trends, she's over there soaking <laughs> up Hitler's secret army. <laughs> Hitler's secret bunker. <laughs> my she my partner picture watches these. My boyfriend puts a CPAP on. We watch Hitler's secret experiments on History Channel. <laughs> Whatever. And then she's lying to me for everything, <laughs> with everything. But anyway, I'm really into that. So I thought that by now everything has been discovered. Like, I mean, there was like, you know, millions of planes and everything like that went down. But like, you figured everything was solved and, and found. Yeah, right eventually now. you're like, going yeah. across, yeah, uh, across yeah. some tank. And there's like, oh shit, a tank in the yeah, woods. Yeah, yeah. But I think it all was. But a skeleton and everything like that is just. That's kinda, crazy. Just that is crazy. crazy. Yeah. yeah. So what, is it just in the woods and like uh, a like a portion of the woods no one walked through? Is yeah, that, that... he said um, his grandfather used to tell him about a German Luftwaffe plane that went down in his family farm, but everyone just brushed it off like, yeah, it's grandfather's crazy story. <laughs> so, no one bothered me. No like, take I know, a walk totally. and that look. That poor old man. All <laughs> I know. you got to do is go out there t- and smoke a left-handed cigarette. Like, he, let's walk yeah, out they to the said barn. It, they said they thought it was tall tales from the war. <laughs> <laughs> but 50 years. <laughs> I know. By the uh, way, grandfathers do tell you a lot of tall tales from the war, though, and most of them are lies. I found that out. Uh, <laughs> some of them, yeah. Some of them are. That's true. That's true. Not a good track record, these grandpas. <laughs> they had to do a lot of digging with their farming equipment. They dug around a whole whole area and stuff like that. Oh, so it was buried. It was buried, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that explains it more. Metal I, th- I thought it was the old... Uh, like, do you have any stories from this year? <laughs> I just... <laughs> no. Well, I just saw that, and I just saw it was from... Why does why does what the, is it from 2017, 2017. and the one before that I was twenty eighteen? I didn't realize when I looked at these. Twenty seventeen. <laughs> it's it's old as old. It's, it's very not old. news. <laughs> No, <laughs> five years when ago. I go to IFL, news Eva. from five years ago. <laughs> when I do IFLScience.com and I look at their stuff, it, they they repopulate their they, they just kick their old stories back up top, and I don't realize that they do that. And I don't look. If at you're their, explaining, you're losing. Time. I heard that one. <laughs> well, I'm just letting you know that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, okay, that's, that's it's their fault. They I shouldn't. Was I, don't know, the story. I don't know why they recycle stories. Like I was that. willing to go with it because they just come. I mean, that's how everything is on the internet, right? It's just like it doesn't even matter if it's true, relevant. Shit, this one's from one year ago. I'm looking at the dates. I never bother to look at the dates. I just read and they sing him interesting. Yeah, old stories with Seth. That's fine. This one's cool though. What old stories from an old man. <laughs> I mean, the fact that the theme is old is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, he puts it's his, pretty awesome. Puts his white painter hat on and goes to work. <laughs> <laughs> you look uh. like an Italian painter. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a Mario. laughs> well, no, Italians so- do like white hats. <laughs> right? I don't know why. Yeah, I'm, They're I'm, making I'm, pizza or painting. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same outfit. Uh, oh, you're you're racially stereotyping. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. That's funny. Uh, we're, we're right. the, That's ne- next, next old story. Mm. Uh, three boys in Bolivia, they learned the hard way. Um, I'm sure they're fine now. It's been a year or two. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, <laughs> you it. Good go job. You wove it in there. That was good. Uh, that, was good. Yeah. that with great powers comes fevers, tremors, and muscle pains. Oh. Uh, they tried to inherit the powers of Spider-Man by letting a black widow spider bite all three of them. <laughs> the boys, they are only 8, 10, and 12. Fortunately, didn't succumb to the unfortunate incident, uh, and they were released from the hospital <laughs> a week later, a year and a half ago, like I said, uh, oh. uh, and without any superpowers. Um, um, I, I will say, though, it's uh, it's super stupid to <laughs> let a spider bite you, but braver than I think my uh, sons would. Like, I don't think they'd ever 
be willing to let a goddamn spider bite them, even if they thought it was going to give them superpowers. Have you know you, what I'm saying? The only thing I have ever let bite me so I could feel it. That's a thing. That's almost, you're, you're touching on something interesting. It's almost like a rite of pas- a passage for little boys. I don't think so much for little girls. But the only animal I have ever actively put my finger out to get them to chomp it is a tiny bird. Not a tiny bird, <laughs> but like a, like okay. a cockatoo. Not a parakeet, like the one that has the yellow and the one that has the orange cheeks. I love the bird with the Mm. orange cheeks. He's cute. And then everybody's like, he bites, it hurts. I'm like, it doesn't hurt, I'll do it. And you know, you want to like, you want to be in the club, you want to impress people, and then they chomp it and you're like, it's not that bad, but it is kind of bad. You know, it's not, it's not good. Dude, parrots will bite Bite your finger off. Yeah, yeah. They'll, uh, I mean, they, uh, that that one uh, parrot that my mother and my bubba bit (laughs) the Max's fingerprint off on the, you know, like literally. Like it sinks, it, you know. I, I I fucked mine up from cutting it. Like I was telling your wife about how I cut my finger and then I fixed it. And yeah. It's actually it's got feeling in it. My fingerprint's fucked. I don't know. If, is that gonna fix itself? Will the no. layers build back up to the top or like? I think it's that like that forever. You have the yeah, scar yeah. will be part of your of fingerprint. My fingerprint. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like more tell, more telling tale if you do something. That'll be like oh, there's a scar in his right finger. Yeah. So oh, you ever you know been bit by any animal? Uh, I'm trying to think. A turtle, but not my turtle. <laughs> You've been bit by a random turtle? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like when I was little, I used to go, we used to go hunt for tadpoles and stuff like that with my dad uh. out in the ditches in Cape Coral. <laughs> <laughs> click, click Let's tadpoles. go tadpole <laughs> hunting in the ditches. <laughs> That's what we did in the retention <laughs> pond. We just went and like uh. caught tadpoles and brought them to our house and watched them like turn into frogs and stuff like that. That's cool. Uh, yeah. And I remember seeing, I remember seeing like a turtle picking up. And I think it was. A, Looking back, it looked like a, a soft shell or a snapping turtle, yeah. like, but it was a baby. It wasn't that What's big. What's the one that has the dick nose? That's the, the soft yeah. shell. Yeah. yeah, those are gross. Like, soft shell turtles, they, um, their nose has, like, a fucking trumpet it's on like the end of it. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's yeah. weird. It's like, why did they make... So, that has a purpose, right? Oh, the, that to. trumpet on their nose? Great nose What do they jobs. do with that? It, maybe from, uh, like going snoot up around. and like breathing <laughs> it oxygen. Snoot around. Snoot, snoot around. Like yeah, you it, poke it into a snoot. <laughs> like, oh, it smells some algae. You know, it's, it's for like, breathing, probably, right? Like a, yeah, it you, says they have a habit of burying themselves in the sand or mud on the bottom of a wetland, and then they just stick their snoot up to breathe. Okay. All right. I see you. Trumpet snoot. A little snorkel. Yeah. Little snorkel snoot. All right. Stung by a jellyfish, too, but I was like, 30 that years doesn't old. Count. <laughs> and I picked it up thinking it was fine, like a Cape Coral jellyfish. I don't it was not jellyfish. a Cape Coral jellyfish. I can, it I was don't, a stinger. Is that a... Did you pee on it? Where are we at on jellyfish? Lemons and pee. Let's, Let's talk about this for a second, because according to my wife, and I'm almost positive to your wife, that our children, if they like were swimming and there were jellyfish out there, that both of our wives would be like, no, no, you can't swim, there's jellyfish. Yeah, yeah. But when I was a kid, and again, I know I'm falling into the, the trap even doing that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but it was like, yeah, there's jellyfish... That you just swim in the jellyfish because yeah, they it, live in the ocean. Yeah, and, and you, it's gonna sting you. Uh, maybe just if be you careful, yeah. you avoid them the best you can. Ah, one got my like, ouch. Okay, pee on it or not, whatever. Go about your day. But then yeah. something happened where that changed, and now it's oh, there's jellyfish. We can't go to the beach. Well, so the, where was the where? When did that happen, and why did that happen? Because the man of war started blowing mm. in. And those are the deadly ones. Yeah, my mom like got wrapped up in the man of war and had to go to the hospital one time. In fact, it got her so bad that she couldn't swim. Like, it wrapped her up to the point oh, where she... Was no, no, thing. no, it wasn't like holding her legs. I mean, like, the pain was so bad, she was like, uh, like it was getting her. Oh, paralyzed her kind of like that. Uh, I don't know about paralyzed. I, yeah. I remember... But she went to the hospital. Yeah. We uh, we went snorkeling in some sort of bullshit excursion in, in the Keys back before kids. And I, I've told the story in the air, but... Um, it was jellyfish uh, season or whatever. So there was uh, just an insane amount, 10,000, a million uh, moon jellyfish that were just like, you know, going with the tide. And then they we go out there and they're like, all right, jump in. And we're looking down off the <laughs> boat and it's just jellyfish everywhere. But they're so big, you can kind of avoid them. But there, there would be like waves of them come in, whatever. And then there was that one real man that didn't give a shit and we're just swimming through them and knocking all the goddamn <laughs> tentacles off. And then all the, uh, the tentacles were stinging all of us. And we're like, fucking quit hitting the jellyfish, old man. And he didn't give a shit. He was swimming through them. And we're all trying to avoid them. 
Uh, and and it, it I sucks. have no feelings. <laughs> and uh, how do you not feel? That sucks. Oh. And then like they'll wash on on the shore, and it's it's always debatable whether they're still gonna sting your feet or not. Like whether they're dried out enough to be not stingable anymore or whatever. Well, can you touch the fat part? Okay, when you see yeah, them the, in the, the ocean, on the top, you can't touch, touch my the tentacles. Are so them. when you flip them underneath, that's where it kind of looks like like see through like kind of little finger fingerlings. Yeah, that's where. The stinging comes, but the top of them, you can play bongos on yeah, them, yeah. and you can grab a stick and stab it through them. They don't feel that, right? No, they have a brain. Yeah, yeah. I think as a kid, but my mom and dad would tell me not to do that. Like, don't be stabbing them. Yo, yeah, oh, my wife says that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so where are we at? That's why I'm asking you the question. You stab them crazy. Okay, Jellyfish. You can throw them. You can't stab. Them. <laughs> we used to pick them up and just go. And I want to chop out of them. I want to burn them in half. Lighters. They, they, they have no brain. They're just uh, a jelly water blob. Yeah. <laughs> a stinging <laughs> water blob. Okay. <laughs> Right. It's fine, My cousin got his penis infested with sea lice once at the beach. He buried himself. <laughs> <laughs> blew it up like a football. <laughs> okay, hold his on. Penis? Penis? <laughs> yeah, it true. went in his. It went his that, yeah, that's what my mom told me. <laughs> 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 ah, now we got. The, so, <laughs> I don't think sea lice. Will, like yeah, he said, he was buried in sand, and some got in his pee okay, hole. Okay, let's analyze this. I don't in know if it's true. You said yes. That she, she wouldn't lie to me. Sea lice in the pee hole. Well, I don't think that's a thing. Well, right. sea lice got Max and Tommy one time real bad. In the pee hole. In, in the hole. Not, not in the pee hole, but around their bathing suit. It's kind of like um, chiggers, where they're Careful. like oh, where, easy no, call. But it's, it's wow. where uh, like any where your, your, the bathing suit touches your skin. That's where the sea lice get, get you too. And it's just like little dots everywhere. But it never Weird. like. I guess if you were uh, allergic to him or something, it would swell well, up. Maybe he had his penis out. I don't know. We were little kids. I remember being a little kids. But, well, but little she told kids me this are like- forever changing at the beach, and you know they're all they're running around in diapers. I, I would imagine his diaper, or whatever, got wet. It wouldn't matter. I mean, like, yeah, you get that sand on you, and you get them on you. Uh, I don't know. Does it say anything, Sam? About I'm not seeing anything about going in the urethra. Um, More of an external thing, right? Yeah, it says they can't live outside of like warm seawater. Well, warm pee holes. Warm salt water. Um, let's take a break. When we come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're ending on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, had, I literally had a recent one. From oh, literally okay. like, you oh, put oh, your right. phone down. One, 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 okay. one, one month, more. One, one month more. ago. One month. It's, 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 it's a smart one, sort of. Um, having two biological parents, uh, it's so 20th century. In the not-so-distant future, developments with gene editing technology could make it possible for children to have more than two biological parents. Um... The scientist explains how scientific developments could dramatically change the way humans procreate um, using something called a CRISPR gene editing. Oh, it I would miss be th- CRISPRs, man. Publix used to have <laughs> CRISPRs around here. It was good as hell. It would be theoretically possible to create a child with, th- with features from the genetic traits of multiple different people. Uh, this technology could also make it possible for pe- people to have children... Uh, late into their life, so like after like I think you subconsciously like said Petri. <laughs> Did so, anybody else hear well, that? How is it like? Are they somehow? Um, and this is I have no idea. This That's why no, we none of us do. But, no, we're, we're speaking on something we have no idea on. So uh, you know the sperm single cell and the egg single cell. Uh, they that's how to create life, mm-hmm. right? And then uh, from that, the you know it's kind of a you know a, a mix of uh, the genes mm-hmm. of what, from the two. You mm-hmm. know from the two who gets what. And now I know there's manipulation and like we already had the science to change your genes and they like cut out possible sicknesses and illnesses the person will ever you can you know, choose the sex and the stuff sex like that, and there's right. things like that so are you adding other humans genes to an already that's, fertilized egg or are you adding question, two yeah. because if you just add two sperm to the egg it would just compete and the winning sperm would correct be, yeah. based on what we know yeah, yeah based on what we know so is well, it, obviously you don't know shit. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I think I lean on what you're saying. Yeah, I, I no, I don't think it is that way. I think it's set, and then they're they're changing they modify what what it already is, right? which is the scary part for me, right? But you're you have to be adding another human's gene if it's going to be multiple humans. Like now, instead of like they, what they're saying is like you could have. Not just one biological father and one biological mother. You could have multiple biological fathers or multiple biological father genes in your genetic code. And therefore, it's like... Do we already? Do I have my father, my grandfather, his father? Like, is that in there already and only... Are we using this technology to access that, and that's how it we manipulate it? The cell's genome can be cut at a desired location, allow existing genes to be removed and or new ones added. 
So, oh, you, so can, you can so you can cut, so you can cut and paste. Yeah. Yo. Although, is that would you? That's okay. Awesome. Let's say this is. Can you be... reject jeans or are all jeans? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I don't know. Like if 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 let's say Sam's, you know, just because you don't have any kids, I'll use you. You're deciding you want to do this and you want to use these particular jeans. Are all jeans usable? Or do you have to go with a select Something group that, of jeans right. that only works with your body? I don't know. Well, also, would you? Mm. I, I feel like. Uh, all right, let's say this is possible, and they took the like the the original uh, egg and sperm, right? And then they added genes the from other men to you, and but the father is the original sperm. I would say, like, I would look at. Like our, the sperm, the 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 sperm, wherever the sperm and the egg came from, that's biological mother and but father. It's not the just other gonna come from one original sperm. It's going to be like five percent, five percent, five. I don't yeah. know. We're going to be. It's going to be equal amount of s- different. No, sperms. I think what he's asking is that but the, he, it has to like come from, from the, the one, single cell, and, and then, then you add then you two, add, and then right? You fuck up. Yeah, I'm genetics. on the same wavelength you are, where it's the father is given his sperm and and basically his DNA. And then you are deciding which pieces of that you would like to keep and other right. DNA that you might want to. And DNA may be the wrong term. I apologize. But maybe you want to add in that extra stuff. You're saying that the father's still the father and he's still like the majority shareholder of the babe. Is that what the kind of the vibe you're going on? Like majority I'm shareholder? I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I'm thinking about it, too. And, and yes. then this leads me to believe, okay, just like it is in real life, your father or your mother... Or are the or your parents are the people who raised you, and that's it. The, the, the biology that's of easier. it I doesn't like that fucking better. matter. Right? <laughs> I've always liked that better. Like, you, who's you, your mom and dad, and who you, treats you right? Those guys. That's it. Who gives a shit <laughs> where the biology came from? Like you don't like, correct. And but it is interesting if the biology comes from multiple people, then it it does kind of dilute that biological parent thing, and then goes back to whoever raised you is your parents. True. It has nothing to do with like. The 10 genes that you have from other men don't mean shit, right? Yeah, like, no, uh, you're right. If you had to choose one trait for your kid, like anything, oh God, like super I, good looking or super smart. I was just thinking smart, about this. Like, I would pull back Maisie's independence one notch. One genome. Just one. Li- pull it back. It's right at, Right now it's at a, like an 82%. I'd pull it back 2%. I'll leave it in an 80. It, it's, it's Give hard. Me a few more hugs. It, How would you fix your son's? It, well, yeah, well she, I think she's <laughs> exactly the way she needs to be, but yeah. Well, I, the, I get my feelings hurt a lot, the, but I'm a sensitive uh, pussy. It seems like uh, the if I was going to choose one trait that I would say would serve you well for the rest of your life, it has to be Big like hog. the work ethic, right? Oh, oh, okay. Like that's it. If you have good work ethic, then I think you at least will be fine financially. For the most part, right? And then it's like, yeah. and then, although being a good person trumps work ethic to me, and but it, in this society we live in, being I see plenty of good people that struggle all the time, right, and right, uh, right, you right. know, and that if it, you want to be successful, you have to have good work ethic. Yes. Yeah, but, but it doesn't it, mean that you're not an asshole if you have good work work ethic. No, no of course, no. yeah. And I see people no. with good work <laughs> ethic that are horrible people, and I don't want my sons to be that. So correct. It's, 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 then it, I'd rather just be a roll of the genetic dice and then whoever they are is who I'm going to Yeah, love. I really think it's easier. Like, it may not be for everybody and it may not be for future generations, but for me and having a child and, like, my anxiety levels and me as a human being, it's easier for me just to roll the dice and get what I get and not throw a fit because... I don't know if I I if I had to pick girl and boy I'd want to do that but then everything else would be a roll of the dice. See, I probably though I think I would have mm-hmm. if I'm just speaking completely candidly. I wanted a boy. So it's a, a nasty thing to say to some people when you you say that. I think I did want a boy. But I don't think that I I think I'm better now with May. Does that make sense? Like I think Yeah, yeah. Like I got what I needed to get. Right. At and least it, it seems like that now. Maybe that's just my perspective, but and you, get, you get what you need. It's yeah, like, I think so. If people will choose the wrong thing, <laughs> like people choose the wrong uh, partner in life, people choose the wrong career. Yeah. Like, like choice fucks people up they a lot. Can. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Yes, a, and so if you gave people the choice to put the what like, you want and what you need are different <laughs> animals. Exactly, and then it's like you give people the choice to put what they think they want in their 
kids, right? I Ooh. think that's asking for You're trouble right. because that, you just simply put like that. Yes. <laughs> be, yeah, because they what they think they want is not same thing with like uh, you know uh, having a spouse or whatever. Like people choose poorly all the time. They do, and, they, <laughs> and so it's like you make give, the same mistake over and over, fall into a pattern. Yeah, yeah, and um, and then you, people don't even realize how bad uh, of a decision maker they are, or like you know they've constantly. Well, then you get your ego involved, and that change. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and you really can't. But it would be cool to have kids late, like for women, if they want to do it, like 50, 60 and they can't. Uh, I mean, that's, I mean, I well, guess also that's like good. dodging know disease, be... you know, dodging disease, oh, dodging, that, yeah. you know, being able have... to, to save the mom and the baby. Sure. Right, right, these right. are all cool things that we can use the science for, but you're right. It, when you put it like that, it's kind of scary to think you open the binder and you, Hey, you can pick anything you want. Oh Lord. Would have been better. Well, that's why you just, need a license. Let's just to do leave it. it to a small menu. This cheesecake factory menu of genetic options yeah, is kind of yeah. weird. If they eventually get to the point, and I think we we probably can do it now, and other countries probably have done it, but uh, where you complete out of the womb grow a human right in some sort of like uh you know modified womb that they you know what I'm saying like yeah, yeah. a I, room they call it a room like like um, not a womb uh it. it I wonder, like, how they will handle, like, birthing that baby, and if it will oh, be baby some weird... general to come down the cabbage <laughs> shit. It'll be some weird ceremony. They'll ring the bell like you ate the 96er at the steakhouse. Where they, they cut it out of the womb, and then they hand it to the... Well, like, there'll have to be some sort of weirdo ceremony, because we love ceremonies no, I know. as a society, I, right? It'll be something like that, right? You just unplug the bottom, and the water just starts going... <laughs> <laughs> like in the movies, just like, the, yeah. or maybe they'll do it like this. Maybe they'll show the baby, and then you'll be like, hey, "Where? How did it happen?" Uh, we can never tell you that. I I'd like to smash the it. giant cylinder of water because oh that's God. what I see in on the movies, like a like ceremony, like Ripley in Alien Three, where she shoots <laughs> yeah, 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 all of her. Yeah, yeah. it should. I want to smash the giant <laughs> cylinder that the baby's yeah, floating. It in. should be. It should be okay. Once they say, "Okay, this baby has been grown to full size baby," and they're like, "You may now smash." Yeah, uh, he's give me just my, smashing of the and cylinder. You give me my. Alien you give me four, my sorry. my big old sledgehammer, and I run up there and I smash it, and then I violently yank the tubes out of the baby, <laughs> and then I hold the baby, and the baby's fine. He's breathing. He's good to go. I but imagine it's, this, it's, the water that's it's all pink and gooey. Or no, I was like envisioning too. like yellow. Oh, I have pink. like a yellow goo, almost like a teenage mutant t- ninja turtle, like a Teen- teenage mutant t- like a crang. Oh, crank! They just pink. Was it pink? Well, he was pink, but what was the f- f- solution he was in? I don't yeah, know. Was um, let's take a break. Did, did Krang fuck girls wearing the suit? <laughs> oh, the big, big bald guy yeah, suit. Yeah, because that guy had a big old ding dong, right? Yeah, that the Krang suit. Guy? I don't think he was interested in like he, uh, sex. Everybody's or... interested. <laughs> yeah. in that. He was if a brain. That, that's all he think about is sex. If you're that power hungry, you have to jack it into a plant. But he yeah. has he has tentacles. He has he can probably do stuff with that. Um, let's take a break. We'll be right back. Uh, we'll uh, have Seth watch some VR porn yeah, and see a, what he thinks about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll take him to the future. Um, this week on ACT, we had a friend of the show, Ryan Reese, stop by to play some of his brand new music. This is his lead single called The Writing on the Wall. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan momentarily. one 844 for last minute phone calls. I remember when I first gave you a call The next week Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha's here. Uh, we got Seth Petrozelli here. Damn. And let me drop that down there. The name of that band was... Who was that? Oh, that a will away. The name of the song is Karma. Okay. But it did kind of sound sounded like Pariah Mike like to me. <laughs> Pariah Mike, and that's a compliment because I think both of these guys, Pariah and the gentleman who sings in the band, uh, a will away, have phenomenal rock and roll voices. That's kind of what I was trying to pick for you. And before that, we heard our friend of the show, Ryan Reese, brand new song. Uh, we were talking about alone time, um, and uh, I <laughs> I'm never alone. <laughs> like um, it, 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 I literally leave a like. You know, where my wife and sons are at the house, I come here to work and then I go back. Well, they my don't wife have like a thing that house. they go to. Like, I'm very yeah. lucky in, and I'm starting to re- try to reframe things. I'm lucky in that Maisie and Andrea will go to dance. I used to try, to, I, I used to look at that, I'd be, I'd be bummed out because, like, oh, what the, what, what am I going to do? But now I try to use it like, okay, well, I have the opportunity to do whatever I want, really. I have some alone time. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I'm very lucky in that respect. <laughs> I am. 
And so with the uh, whole uh, Oculus and VR, you know, I'll never be able to use this uh, because... Are you going to use it here? Yeah, no, I, mean, <laughs> I got I got some stuff to do at the office and come here alone. Yeah, no, no, you and go all over. Daniel's looking at the cameras. No. Where's the camera? No, Dude, no, no. I did a smoothie king. Just cover him. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> then will, he knows. I will tell you the secret. You stay what? in that room so and no what? one, nothing no. can be seen. There is no. No, I know there's no cameras. No, you got to no do it in, in there. Yeah, but you know, I when you it alerts your phone when I come into the office. Uh, not, for, you, not for you. No, no, it does not. Well, you know, it only alerts when not for your code. Who cares? It only alerts. For the cleaning people. No, but you and the fishman. You've texted me before when I've come to the studio. You're like, what you doing in the studio? <laughs> well, then I'm well, like, like, I, I thought you were jacking off. <laughs> well, there it is. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> plus, I'm not driving you know, all the way here. Why not? It's that good, dude. No, no, it's, it's that good. It's cool to be in a different anyway, spot. The, uh, oh, my, my apologies. Sorry um, about that. So Daniel showed this to me, and it did blow my mind because I was like, whoa, this is a different experience than uh, just watching a... You know, I'm gonna a get screen. It, set up it, it, it is, um, and uh, and so it has to be specific to VR, like filmed with a VR camera or however the hell they do it. But uh, I, I wanted oh, Seth to see it because I know you're going to go out and buy one of these things. He'll buy it tonight. He'll yeah. buy it on his way home. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah, bad rap. It's funny. How? They make me have better rap. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have it set up for you now. You'll be facing... Exactly the way I'm looking. This is the way you'll face. This matters where I'm facing? Okay. Yeah, all you gotta do is hit... It better not be oh, gay no, porn. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but... Hold on, you're gonna be this way. It's the same one we all watched, right? Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, we yeah, made yeah, some yeah, other yeah, watches. This is now yeah, the it. fourth time I'm wiping this so, down, so by the way. <laughs> fourth time. <laughs> what, are you, what are you wiping I, it down I, for? I, I'm fourth so time. He said you're care. gross, Dan. Okay, hey, you're gross. If, if you're going to get COVID, yeah, yeah, Daniel, Daniel would already give it to you. Shorts are tight, and you have a hog, or you're hard right now. Did you uh, fluff it up? He oh, fluffed in the bathroom. Okay, here's uh, this is right hand. Oh, All right, give me left hand. So hold on, I want to put the uh, camera up so you can right. see yeah. that. See how it feels. I see the laser. Do you see the play? All right, let me see this. See a bunch <laughs> of blue X's. If you don't see. Okay, now turn turn around. Turn. Do you see the play button? Oh, wait over here. Okay, <laughs> okay, you did find the play button. What do I press? You hit the play button. But what do I press on my thumb thing? The thumb? You, you can hit uh, the. You can pull the trigger. Just go ahead and pull to your trigger. Where your index is. Oh, that trigger. Okay. Come on, Zach. Yeah, let me uh, let me move. Do you want to try your camera on him? Let's see. Are which you, one can I? Is it working? Or are you having to play with my index finger? No, 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 no. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. The wrong trigger. This one. Look. That oh, one. way up there. Okay, pull that. I'm sorry. Okay, here he goes. Oh wait, this is me. Let's see. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Nice. I don't know if we can see him doing this. Oh, let me see if I could turn my camera. Well, on. we would need a camera there, ah, so okay, it's yeah, not going to yeah. work. So let's Leah, let's just let him experience. Mm -hmm. So you okay? Yeah, I'm down. And You're then down. when you look around, <laughs> like that's the weirdest. Yeah, except for when you turn it all the way around. And then you look yeah, down, and it's like your own body. Well, that's not. That's yeah. the creepy part for me. Has she, well, is she is nude that yet? Your, is yeah, she yeah, nude? I understand. Yeah. She's about to be. She's dancing around. Okay. Is there, is there a way to like fast forward to just a good part? No, no, just just go with it. Oh, oh he's a guy that skips around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the uh, it this just tells me that like my sons are gonna have VR uh and be watching oh, pornography okay. this way. Okay, so where are you at now? Where are you at? She's uh oh, it's like so close to my face. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. That's a that I part like is that. too close. No, it's not. That's good. he loves it. Yeah, he loves oh! it. Oh. Squirt. <laughs> right in your face. Yeah, no, I like this. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Now take it off and sit down. Let's talk about it. He doesn't want to stop. He's got a really. You can, like, see, like, really detail. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now sit down. Oh, yeah, no, take it off. You're addicted He's already. Addicted. Take it off. Okay. And I don't need to do it, so I can't be touching myself. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me get my hat. So? Yeah. What do you think? How many stars do you give that? Three. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> I mean, the, the, the quality, like the... Get on your mic. There you go. There you go. Like the image, maybe it's just the way that looked, but it looked, it was not, not 4K. No, no, because that's just a test. Oh, okay. Now, what yeah. I have... Uh, like uh, bought the, we haven't bought the package It's so package expensive. Yet. I've it's been, trying, I've been trying to do it. I mean, you have enough jack to do it, but it's like $400. 
To do what? For a lifetime membership to this thing. Oh, no matter lifetime, dude. <laughs> what do you mean lifetime? I don't. I'm not going to be <laughs> alive long enough to get four hundred dollars <laughs> worth of virtual porn. Or porn once a day, like four hundred. Are you going to go get this rig and put your rig on once a day? Y yeah, in my shower. Yes, I will do it. In uh, your I, shower. I, you know, that's what I used to do. It before I take a shower, I sit down on my little stool. We've in the probably shower. done something bad in showing him this. I feel like this is how like you give your friend cocaine and then you find out like years <laughs> later. You done. can see like de like really good detail, and it's I, not even that good quality. Like as far as like the, yeah, and then the when did you get the 4K? I, told you. I did one yesterday that was 8K, and I swear to God, if I'd had a better VR unit, which we don't, that's you know, that's as it's good, yeah, it's great. Good. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but that's that's bargain, right? That's bottom, yeah, like that's it. value. If I had a good one, it looks so good. It was 8K. It feels like ridiculous. It feels like getting a lap dance in a strip club. Is like, like on to, like that close? That's nice, and I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It uh, it seems like <laughs> it's a <laughs> like new it. thing that it adds a different experience than what we're used to, and that's all. I'm, that's all I saw, and I was like, all right. But the it. girls that really get it, and there have only been two like uh, performers that I've seen in the in these trailers that really understand. Uh, how to engage the viewer and and are going to get paid. Riley Reed is one of them, and Lacey Lemon Lennon Lemon whatever. The, she's the redhead. They look into the camera like oh yeah, it's your eyes. Yeah, they look at like it's your eyes. Or when they go, they do little things. They're like, oh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go change, and they'll go and they'll give you like a kiss. And for weirdos that you know, and I mean that with love, who've <laughs> never experienced anything even close to that, right. that's got to be a crazy new sensation they've never had. Like having a woman that close to their face, right? Yeah. Because I remember when that girl leaned in for a kiss for a split second, I'm like, I'm gonna kiss this, but you know, I'm, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm gonna do it. You know, like I, it definitely feels more cheating it, than not cheating. It, it, <laughs> that's what Bingo. people want. Bingo, oh, yeah. it does, but yeah. it's not. <laughs> but it might satisfy that craving for it. It could, or it could uh, lock you into your shower, uh, whack it off all the time, yeah. and then your young girlfriend leaves you. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. When she's not there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was about, I was gonna ask you how much alone time do you have, Seth? Where uh, like amount, she's only off like two or three days a week. So the night, the days that she's off, she's at my house. That before, so three days a week she's at mine. The rest of the time I'm. Alone. Oh, that's right. You, I forget he has his time by himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Man, so you, you can need do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this would be the. What yeah, if I you, walk, I what if you get one of these and you get all fat? <laughs> what I'll you, be so what you, my bicep will be <laughs> <laughs> one arm <laughs> but it's not the same way for girls right like I don't think uh, girls are rushing out to get these things to put it on I mean that dick was like really that, look, I will say imagine this imagine that yeah I've had two females email me about it that have okay. used it for porn alright haven't yeah. had any guys email me about it yet but I probably will now Wait, but. can you fast forward like in <laughs> when it, you get the real one the lifetime oh, yeah. can you fa can I like okay this is boring skip well, yeah this. yeah absolutely Sam right. you, you bring up a good point in I don't the know fact why I got uh, I was like absolutely maybe <laughs> this because like guys are super visual right so it's like it's easy for guys to like see pornography and be like oh I like that correct we're <laughs> idiots and then, but women need a little more maybe connection that the VR offers them, mm -hmm. where it's like now it tricks your brain to thinking there is a person in part, the room, yeah, you're or you're a part, part of it. it, and there's some sort of human connection, just like you said with the yeah. eyes. Yeah. I'm telling you, even with the right. with the cartoon or the uh, like uh, the CGI people, if we're not going to need to be in real relationships anymore, I th that's or what. I, yeah. What if it's going to fuck up our real relationships? That right? could. Yeah, yeah. That's what I worry. About. I don't really worry about people. Like if that's all you know. If all you're interacting with are artificial creations, then that's fine, right? But bridging the gap is what's going to end up being difficult, right? Because you're going to have some relationships in the real world that, you know, may not react to all the cues, the social, social cues that AI or fake relationships or people you're you're uh, working with in the real or in the there, metaverse. Yeah. Do, do they have it set up where if I get Tracy one of these two, we could both be in like a big threesome or something? And then oh, what they like, I, I would imagine. Demolition Man. I believe, listen, it all goes back to sex helmets. Uh, I know what you're talking about. No, 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 no. You know, I would her, imagine but, they do like that, but with her in the bed next to me too. Yeah, I imagine both they, getting squirted on. I I would imagine yeah <laughs> that they probably do have something like that. Set or up, it'll right? come. Or it'll hey, come. Now, hey oh. Uh, if they don't have it See, yet, that'll be fun. They will. I could baby. Sure. I could baby step her into it. <laughs> but the last uh, thing I want. Her into it. <laughs> <laughs> my wife loves. I mean, my, Andrea loves the VR. I mean, she's not too big on the Was porno she, part. How do you know? Well, I yeah, see her using I, it. And I, next thing I, I see a virtual crow fly down <laughs> and it's all like, oh, God, I'm pushing him. <laughs> She's <laughs> watching it. A fucking digital crow. Digital crow goes up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> She's sitting on virtual <laughs> goddamn <laughs> power lines. Going <laughs> 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 at me. It's anyway, gonna, ah, two point oh. So uh, let's finish with some dumb amount. All um, right, buddy. It's dumb amount time. Dumb amount. Dumb On the list today, it's the end of the motherfucking show. So come on, baby, let's dump them out and play. I wanna see your topics. Ooh, I wanna also see your bottom mix. <laughs> dump, 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 dump. Um, dump them out brought to you by our watering holes. If you go to Tom and Dan watering holes.com, uh, bug nutty brewery in Cocoa beach, Boom. uh, toll road brewing. Um, we've got hourglass brewing. We got cafe da Vinci, Dade city, Tuffy's West End, celery city. It's all listed on there and, uh, they're all great partners of ours that uh, serve great beer yeah. and food and everything else. So. Go support them. Most, uh, most, if not all, are local. Most, if not all, are small. And they would certainly love you going and checking them out. Yep. Um, so I was kind of... Uh, okay, Seth, I'll ask because Seth mm-hmm. wasn't here for this. Um, you know the part in Sublime <laughs> where... In it's Santeria. A, in Santeria. Mm-hmm. In mm-hmm. where it, it's, I, I'll pop a cap in Sancho's ass. And no, sla- no, 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 no. Huh? I'll, I'll pop a pop cap in Sancho. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'll pop a cap in Sancho. And, and I'll... I'll what do you think? Finish the, the lyric. I'll pop a cap in Sancho oh, no, the and I'll enough. slap. Uh, da, 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 he my, doesn't know. My, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought it was slap her dad around. And then I got made fun of it, slap her down, and that's the real lyrics. But uh, Samantha, and I, did a listener send this to you? It was, yeah, it was in the BDM group. Uh, somebody else, there's a lot of people that are on Tom's side that either swear that he does say slap her dad around or say that they don't care that it doesn't, they're going to still sing it that way. And then somebody was like, have you seen this? And it was a video of Sublime with Rome, which is the guy that now sings for Sublime. And it was a live, uh, like a, I think it was a jamming in the band, jam session or something, uh, jam in the van. And he says something completely different. As much as what you said was accurate, I feel like the band has a problem with you saying he sings for Sublime. I think that's why they made such a big stink about it being called Sublime, Sublime with, with Rome. Rome. Yeah. But anyway, here, uh, here's a, you want to hear it? So Rome. 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 He's now in, I mean, he's now the lead singer of Sublime. He changed the lyrics to what, basically what I thought it was. Well, he so. also, he changed slap to smack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, here. Smack a handlebar mustache. Okay, here they are. Okay, here he is. So he says smack her dad around. He says smack yeah, her dad thought, around. It sounded like he says smack her dead around. <laughs> well, it, so if he, th- he must have thought it too, right? Being a sublime I fan. I think know. he should be fired. <laughs> or like, he's, he's been singing I mean, the song wrong. He's not singing it right. <laughs> That's not correct. It's slap her down. Yeah, I know, but uh, he said smack her dad around. There's got to be. How long has he been singing with sublime? God, 10 years That's at this fucking point? ridiculous. Yeah. No one said anything to him? Does he do it on all verses? Did we check all I verses? I don't know. Yeah. I just saw all this right, one. Hold on. We'll I feel a little vindicated the fact that Rome also Well, he only, he only say that the one time. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, You're it's right. Just, it's just a verse, yeah. not a chorus or anything. Anyway, so he must all have right. thought it too. Uh, and that it, is absurd that nobody in Sublime is like, hey, man, that's not the right lyrics. Maybe they Maybe don't care. They yeah. <laughs> they, uh... They're Just like collecting that check. The yeah, two, they're Brad, you know, Bradley died of a heroin overdose. Like you can do it. I just want some money. They don't strike me as sticklers for anything. I'm gonna hold you to that. Um, so, uh, are you familiar with sweethearts across from <laughs> Rachel's on 436? Uh, the sweethearts no. boutique. Yes. Oh well, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I know I've never been. There. You're always in there. Well, your mustache says differently, <laughs> yeah. sir. Your mustache screams that you're a everyday patron. Maybe after I get one of these, I might be in there more getting. Something. So every time I uh, drive past Rachel's, I look across the street, and there's a Sweethearts, uh, like uh, I guess 
What, what would you call that style of clothing? Like? They call it like club clothing. Yeah, I don't club. Like, no okay. one's really wearing the yeah. dress with their tits cut out. <laughs> yeah. you know what I, mean? I mean, I wish my wife, I, mean, I guess it would reach a silly <laughs> point, you know, when she's like, Doing something serious, you know, like if she were just talking to her boss and she had her tits like, the, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So, so meaning strip club. Yes, it's like it's, 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 it's like it. And it's, there's not much to them, right? And it's and little it's, articles of clothing. Yes, it's like sexy wear for strippers, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I I look at sweethearts and I look across the street at Rachel's and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. But the more and more I look at it, I'm like, <laughs> how the bridge. fuck? They need a bridge. <laughs> Well, I'm like, is this uh, like sweetheart store, brick and mortar store, who has employees inside, has a bunch of shit? That, yeah. you know, I'm like, is this place only sustained Thriving. by the strippers across the street? How can that be? Well, I'm sure that's a destination. Place. Two other things: it's you got your ravers, or any kind of like electronic festival. Right? What about embezzlement? And then you got yeah, <laughs> right. okay. Yeah. I mean, and then you got they sell like uh, knock off like coach bags and shit. I actually oh, they yeah. do got that in there. But the I, internet oh, hasn't killed by. them. I ran out the store for a Karate Kids uh, dojo for Man, half I'm, of the day. I'm gonna <laughs> swing by there and buy me a Lou Vuitton. So I, I, I'm just like constantly That's surprised. That's my old rap name. About companies that are still clubwear, dancewear, and swimwear. <laughs> Swim. I don't know about swimwear. And I assume swimwear is expensive, though, right? Yeah. Do they have an online presence that you can shop from? Not the Castleberry one. Uh, (laughs) They just have a Facebook page. They're getting the internet. They'll get it. (laughs) So it's like they're able to survive just with. I mean, I guess let's go in there. You said there's like raver kit and like other people. No, ravers aren't going to (laughs) sweetheart. Are you crazy? It's. I I assume that people are just shopping online. There's a lot of streetwalkers that probably go in there. It'd be well, more like too expensive. People <laughs> keep them not, afloat. There it can't be. <laughs> no, the pimps go in there. Not that for women. <laughs> it just it seemed like how much money? How many uh, clubwear dresses are they selling? Okay, the owner, uh, the, owner the owner probably bought that building. God knows how many damn years ago. It's probably paid off. I got a way to do it. It's it. got to be right because yeah, there's no way to so lease it. Still, like there's still Sam, taxes and insurance. Yeah, but that's yeah. probably not, not look it up on Yelp because that'll give us an idea of what people are going there to buy. Because if we see some complaints or if we see some good things about it. We'll know exactly how people uh, are interacting I, I with the store. I don't think the people buying those clothes are Yelpers. I I'll bet go there's got to be something on Yelp, right? Or there's got to be a review of this place. If it's a business, it's got a review. We've got reviews of like, ah, oh, I drove past there. Uh, two fat <laughs> podcasts. I'd rather go to one a, star. I'd rather go to like Fairville or something for exactly. Of course. Yeah. For classes. Yeah. I heard of this place for a long time. When I was in Orlando, I stopped by. There was a Spanish lady staring at me from side to side, and she has this mean looking face. <laughs> I'm not judging, but I felt weird, and she asked me if I needed help. She stared at me so much I felt uncomfortable, but I still asked for a couple outfits to try, and she said me and my daughter couldn't try it on. At F- Fair Villa Cape Canaveral, I'm allowed to try it on. I don't know how I'm going to buy clothing if I don't even know if it will fit. It Damn. was a waste of time. I must be they a good... They shouted out Fair Villa Man, Cape I'm Canaveral. a good-ass <laughs> businessman. If I ask you to read a review and you pick the right one, we're good at this shit. High five, Sam. <laughs> She's in there with her daughter? <laughs> I love that. I didn't that's, even that's, pick up on that. Yeah, I, I didn't even pick up. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> I mean, how old's the daughter? <laughs> I know, because you, you hate the yeah, mom. Yeah, you know. You're like, on to the daughter. They yeah, have a good yeah. selection of heels, but they are way overpriced. Okay. Yeah. But if, she, if she's too old, mm, it's, 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 then it's weird again. <laughs> hey, uh, you're right. But it's strippers. Yeah, good selection of heels, too expensive. It sounds like they're shopping around. Yeah, I think you nailed it. Maybe so. It it's the whole business. It's just a thing. We have a lot this of is five a- stars, though. Pro tip: If you're ever feeling a little down about your body, drive right into Sweethearts and buy yourself a bathing suit. Don't question yourself; just buy whatever stands out. <laughs> then show out at your neighborhood pool barbecue party. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They're oh fucking around. Dude. <laughs> that is yeah. that's Jamie Robbins. Dude, yeah. you know what yeah. Jamie Robbins going hard. Dude, what do we have? Like ten to twelve strip clubs in Orlando. No, but it's not even that. What about the what about the That's secret OnlyFanders that we all know out there? What about all the Savannah uh, solos the out there? Fans, yeah, but just buy it that. online. Yeah, but but it, to look your best, you seriously, try, try, try it on. on. Getting a tailor, getting your pants. Oh, you're not allowed to try it on. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to try it on. Well, tonight. that's just that Spanish lady. You got to wait till the <laughs> you Ukrainian can buy it from Amazon girl. and return it. You got to let the Ukrainian yeah, yeah. woman work there, it, and then you're good. This I'm, one's got one star. Nothing for big breast people. Oh, uh, sorry, Sam. <laughs> That's weird. That's you weird because they're sorry. only it's all cut out. <laughs> We're a little tits only star. I'm very sorry. <laughs> anyway, I just I'm like, how is this still a thing? How are they still in business? It's it's open. It's, yeah, it's still. Let's drop by there. I'm down to go in it. I feel the store is very discriminatory. They do not sell clothes for big girls yeah. or women with big breasts. Oh yeah, well, the big girls. Big the second out. part's bad, but we want some big lines. You're right. 
<laughs> but it's no coincidence that it's across the street from Rachel's because no, they go that was a lot by of business. Design, yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was by and design. So, uh, anyway. It's always been there, too. I think yeah. maybe. I remember it being there back when I was working at the radio station. I was 19, 20 years old. I think it's been there. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying. It's probably paid off, and they're probably just making pr- pr- like, taxes. It's like been terms. there for 35 years or something. <laughs> it's like yeah, insane. I'm, I'm it's obs- been there as long as Linda's La Cantina. I'm obsessed with I've businesses. Been I've been wanting to go there <laughs> Cosmic for Muffin years. says it's her go-to for performance outfits. All right. Performance. Like this, Good on you, Muffin. Like <laughs> brick and mortar businesses that no one goes to, I'm obsessed with. Like uh, I just, I'm I like fascinated but, with them just being a lot, like still like existing. Book of Bargoon. <laughs> like Book like, It's right in the same area too. There's a is, lot of businesses right around there. I know. That, like you got Sweet Archie. Castleberry's got, a bunch of random fish <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. shops. Pokemon shop. There's an Yu-Gi-Oh exotic shop. pets. There's exotic pet store that just uh, yeah. by itself. There. There's like one building that just okay. says internet games. Can we talk about exotic pets for a second? I've been to that. Store I times. have two, and the same guy in there with the same ponytail, and he doesn't age, and he's a vampire. Yeah, like how? Because many... I've been in there, and that guy from from nineteen year old Daniel to forty five year old Daniel, oh. I've been in that pet store, and it's the same man, same ponytail, and he's still young as hell. He's a vampire. Like the Army Navy stores yep. that still exist, that are just like the those guy... are fun though, man. Like the owners... Army Navy stores are it's fun as the... hell. Yeah. So it's the it's the stores. The owners are also the only employee who <laughs> was like I'm fascinated with them. Like you're just there, and it doesn't matter if you make that much money and you're so always we're... eating a snack when <laughs> yeah, I walk yeah. in. You always have a snack. And it's like how much <laughs> but I'm like just based on like okay you need insurance you need to keep the lights on you need to have some internet connection you need to have what you, about I'm your merchandise dude? inventory that's the thing that always troubles me when I walk what? in this place you walk in there's one lady she's eating Dusty. a snack are and you... there's 5,000 black lingeries and I'm like well, how do you afford that but are these like 50 cents a Seth, piece you like, what's happening you run a small business we run a small business like yeah. we understand how much money you need to make just to just fucking to, stay alive just to break even yeah just terrible. to break even and pay yourself something where it's like how how much money you're making a day? Are you making five hundred dollars a day? Maybe they yeah, live you there at too. Least, though, there's the, that's the Army Navy model where oh, the guy lives in the but back room. Okay, the, that's I love that. Now we're onto something that just <laughs> now I go yeah. from like trying to figure it out to like there's an intense want that I have for this. I put it in the same category earlier when I was talking to Dan Cummins about l- being isolated, being alone, living under a bridge. One of my dream jobs is working at a sweetheart's where I'm eating a snack and no one comes in and I'm alone all day just <laughs> looking at my dusty lingerie. Sometimes I want to be that old man that's selling nothing but Chinese uh, zip ties at the flea market and I have a table and no one is coming by to see me and I'm just sitting there. And there is no reason for me to be there. But <laughs> yeah. there, I have an intense drive to be one of these people and I don't know why. <laughs> Crystal walked into a mattress store. We, we both did, yeah, but say it, uh, to sir. buy ma- uh, Max's mattress uh, uh, years ago. Yeah. And she's like, I saw this mattress online. It's, it's inexpensive or whatever. I'm like, all right, we go to the strip mall mattress store, just a, like mattress, generic as yeah. fuck. And we walked there, smell like smoke. <laughs> <laughs> like the guy was smoking in the back. Yes. And then there was a mat. There was. <laughs> We were there. We walked around or whatever. I didn't see anybody else in the parking lot. When I left, we actually sat there for like nobody went in that store within the yeah. hour's time, right? And I imagine there was no one in there before us or after us. Yeah. And I'm like, how does this happen? Yeah. How does this exist? Is it a money laundering front? Is it just uh, the old man wants to be alone? Is it a Daniel in the future? I, just, I so you bring in some smoky mattresses. My, you you know there? my favorite. My favorite used to be that that I put into that category. My favorite used to be there was a um, a thing a Puerto Rican gaming store in the old Sanford flea market where and by gaming I mean tabletop dominoes and this man would hand make these domino tables that had like Boricua and different like artists and different like and, it, and they were all Latin themed and very like Puerto Rican I believe at least for to my you know untrained eye yeah. it was very much that. And he would be playing his like Teano mu- or whatever, mu- you know, he'd have his music going and he'd sell CDs and these gaming tables and not one person would stop by and see him. But goddamn, did it look lovely. Just standing there. <laughs> he had his little hat on. Is he's even- got his beautiful gaming tables out. The music is playing. No one ever just leaving him alone. I'm like that. He walk over. He'd get like maybe a two dollar beer at the fl- It just there's <laughs> something about it comforting to me that I yearn for that. That's what well, I want. Flea market's different because it's not brick and mortar. You're just you can just make things. I know, but that you got to pay to be there. You got to pay to be there. My point is, is he's not making any money. This he wasn't doing. If he sells one though, he'd probably be fine. Right? I don't think so. I think he I, did this I think because he enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. I it, mean, he was the first one. When you walked from the parking lot, he had the best uh, spot. Well, so it's like there's 
I just I'm why? confused by yeah, it. Why? Like, yeah, why? There is a like there. There is this weird thing that some people like to just say they they're a shop owner. I know I know a guy like that. He used to work at the flea market. Now he You're has talking a about me. <laughs> 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 You're talking about me. Now he has a spot at the uh, Seminole Town Center Mall. Then there, nobody goes in there. There are people that do a podcast. Oh, I was they're this like, close. Oh, a, I have a show. Yes, of like, course. I have a show. Yeah, I have a show. I'm on the radio. I'm the, on, jung- I, the jungle was this close to being in the Seminole Town Center. Like no. we were negotiating <laughs> this close. We were negotiating the lease and everything. We were going to have a nice big spot. I was like, oh, should I do it? Is this something that we can maybe pull off? Mike's like, I don't know. I don't know if we should do it or not. We went back and forth for like a month and then pulled out of the deal. Yeah, open where we. I did. think you just accidentally said something brilliant. You should do classes only for big people, and call it the chungle. <laughs> Did I say chungle? Yeah, I, it sounded like you said chungle, and then oh, I was like, chungle. "Is he talking about fat jungle?" And I was like, "Oh my god, it's the, the chung- jungle! It's the jungle!" Well, th- that brings me to: if you own a dojo and you only have one student, do you still hold the classes yeah. for the one student? Oh, no, yeah. if, if one person shows up, I'm like, "All right, sorry, nobody showed up. See ya." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <it's laughs> uh, well, they showed up. Did you, nobody. Yeah. Did you expect a different answer? Uh, <laughs> kind of. I'm like, funny. I'm like, I bring him to the front desk. I'm like, here's our private less than packages <laughs> it's oh, like, so you want to upsell them <laughs> yeah <laughs> well he's not he, their fault nobody else shows. Yeah, no, if no like, one shows up it becomes a private <laughs> lesson which costs more that is brilliant yeah no i'm joking i'm just saying that for real i would definitely teach and it hasn't happened thank god but two or three when i first opened it was like that and i still did the class for two or three people which is fine but that hasn't happened since. If nobody shows up, do you do the class? <laughs> like, go, because that, I feel like the... Sometimes I pray for that. The, the, <laughs> oh, my God. I do it just so I can have sad. some relaxed time. Yeah, and now that you have your VR helmet, uh, <laughs> all the dojo I'm gonna classes get, canceled. I'm going to get two. I'm going to get one for the dojo and one for my bathroom. Don't get one for the dojo. You don't need that at the dojo. The dojo should be tech-free. Oh, okay, yeah. There is I do have cameras in the dojo. N- yeah, but you don't need pictures of you like this local dojo no, owner no, no, no. forgot, didn't know his door was open and started <laughs> wagging it. The, it's like there is something alluring to me and sad in the fact of like you open up your shop, you like sweep the front, and like you put the open sign, it's you sad. turn it, and then you like, and you sit there, and then nobody, All nobody right, <laughs> ready for business. Yeah, and then that's it. Nobody yeah, that's ever walks in, and then but the business happens- doesn't exist. All the what you are describing happens more than not. Yeah, that's it's why crazy. the majority of businesses close. Yeah, the yeah. First year. that's the whole. We were supposed. The to saddest part is in restaurants when it happens yeah, in restaurants yeah. oh, because all they, the money they dump. The into saddest part was food that, back there. The saddest uh, one that, and I still bring the story up because it still hurts me emotionally. <laughs> like I'm a sensitive person, and this one, this was one of the only time. This was a big. Um, this is a, a milestone in my life for thinking, uh, like m- turning my back on radio and like the business a- aspect of it and understanding that it was flawed and shitty. It was that that restaurant where the man and his wife had a dream of opening a restaurant that only served fair food, like fried oh, yeah, fair yeah. foods. And it was like funnel cakes and corn dogs. Super nice people, too. They were the nicest people. And so they had like, and they go on to tell the story about how they mortgaged their house to open the spot. And, you know, they were going to revolutionize the city by having this this restaurant where you would go and you'd eat like corn dogs, funnel cake, uh, um, peppers and onions, everything that you would get at a fair. You could get it at this restaurant. It's not a crazy bad idea a it's food not truck, a crazy could, good idea could food truck idea maybe more maybe yeah, yeah, it, yeah but there were just it's... maybe need to be fleshed out a little bit but i'm not saying it's wrong look i don't know i don't want to work in food i think anything in food is is automatically 100 times different oh, or yeah. difficult more difficult than anything else but and then we were working at the radio station and man they bled these people dry they just started taking they started taking on more money from them than they could afford the advertising yeah yeah and yeah. we all knew it we knew it yeah, it's like you shouldn't be spending twelve hundred dollars a week in advertising. You no. so like that's way too much. No. Like you need to word of mouth. Like yeah, because think of your overhead. How pre-sold? many funnel cakes do you have to sell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like how many you're, you're selling think for about three it. bucks and they, yeah, they cost man. you you know a dollar. Your your margins are you know and, and a buck eighty. And the yeah. the sadness in that man's eyes, you know, like just sad because that was his dream. You know. Yeah, yeah. And he, and it would have been cool if he'd had a mentor or had somebody else. You know. To tell him like, hey, not a bad idea. Let's let's pivot a little bit, or let's start small, or let's not. You know, here's an idea. Do the idea of owning the restaurant, but let's not advertise on radio at all because you're not there yet. 
That's too expensive for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, let's start with a penny saver. Let's but start with social, don't know. Media. They, social media. They don't know. And I think this was kind of the uh, the cusp of even social media being a thing. It like, was. So there's a, you know, we're what talking. What is this, like 06? Yeah. 05, yeah. 06, somewhere around then. Like oh, social so media is new. Man. So, uh, and nowadays you can, like, literally, social media offers, like, where you don't have to spend any money on advertising. Like, they're. All I'm, my advertising is all social media for the jungles and, and for the dojo. It's all nothing but Facebook. Facebook. Uh, I guess a little bit of Google, but well, Facebook, this also <laughs> this is. You think thing. I'm making anything off this? I see. Oh, I see BDMs going. Oh, yeah. BDM, BDMs, BDMs like, coming yeah. in there and farting and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally well, all they I do. pay them to do that. <laughs> they come in. There. It's working. <laughs> They're like, hey, pepperoni. <laughs> and they walk right the fuck out. <laughs> Fart bomb. I, That's I, all they do. I saw. <laughs> hey, pepperoni. Well, Chase has been going there for like two years. Yeah, now. yeah. I don't think. He I mean, no, I'm not saying. There's a. There's a few. He took Seth's side. Yeah, there's a few. I but hope it's all BDMs. <laughs> I'm gonna it's find definitely out. Definitely not all BDMs. <laughs> but there was a there was uh, some TikTok story that I saw that uh, there was this British guy and he was young in his 20s or whatever. He manipulated the internet like he basically started up a fake like cafe um, and said it was in his like this like flat he was staying at or whatever. Yeah. And he was living in the shed of this flat <laughs> or whatever. And he said that uh, he basically started it up and then started writing fake reviews yes. and different accounts and got it to the number one yes. cafe in, in London or whatever <laughs> out of 18,000 <laughs> restaurants. And it was like ranked number one. And he's like, never even served additional. They, they just manipulated the fucking uh, social media social algor- right. algorithm or whatever, Google's algorithm to oh, uh, basically put it to the number one uh, and then so it's like you can do shit like that and you can market yourself I mean shit look at all the satellite locations and um, like I'm noticing places they don't have to be like uh, it used to be like you open your business to get like um, passerby yeah. traffic right sure and now it's like the the marketing is in the internet it's like I, I like down in Miami there was like uh, uh, a whole row of businesses that used to be like mechanics and shit and then like a smoothie place opened like I'm like when I stay with my buddy i get my smoothie there and it's like right, oh, fucking it's back in the area that used to be all mechanics because the your phone is taking you to where you want to go so you type in smoothie and it takes me there uh, yeah you know that's, I, that's good to an extent it is nice to have nice frontage where people drive by and be like i didn't realize i was there oh i love your that location well I, that's good but and so I also, do- that's why i was worried about the dojo because it's off the beaten path like you don't pass it normally well but it's so also it's, in a very but the internet Takes the, the people there, Asian it does, but you have to be looking town. for it to to do that. You can't but, just drive by and be like, "Oh, karate! Oh, I didn't. You know what? I haven't done karate." Blah blah. blah. No, no one thinks like they that. Do they do think know. like that. People, the, a bunch of people in the jungle. That's one of the main things they say a lot of. Is like, oh, "I've been driving by here for a while. I always see it. Never knew what it was. I'm going to stop in." Interesting. Bro. I guess the fart repet- and then leave. Hey, pepperoni. Okay. Um. So Samantha, let's talk about your five year. This Sunday. Oh, we're leaving. We're getting out of here. Yeah. I got one foot in the canoe. I'm so proud. I wanted to talk about the kayak. I got a. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, we can't talk about that first. We, you well, want to talk about that or not? Okay, I talked a lot of shit about kayaks. No, you did. You did a whole like bits on it. I like, know. We've got multiple like pro- professionally produced videos of you just straight sideways side shitting on kayaks. Just saying, <laughs> why are they fun? You scream yelling. They're not fun. They're shitty. They're stupid. <laughs> so shitting on Tracy. One of our most. It's amazing. She still listens to us the way you treat her. I still think that way, but. <laughs> 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 my wife, who, uh, my beautiful wife, who is there very caring. Say her name. She likes that better than you saying her beautiful and wife. She, uh, and she knew that for my 40th birthday, like, all I want to do is adventures with my son. All so I she wanna do bought adventure with my son. two inflatable <laughs> kayaks so that we can go on adventures. We could take them on the boat. We could, do, you know, wherever. Um, and I appreciate that. And now, I do like adventures. the last time you guys went kayaking, did you express your hate for kayaking then? No. Oh, she's tired of hearing me I hate yeah. everything. She <laughs> just powers through. She's like, I don't tell her. I tell you guys. He's like, oh, okay. He's like I hate kayaking. I'm like, if she like, bought I'm it after, kayak. yeah, if she bought it after you complained to her about it. I well, no, I I think I did in that particular uh, instance uh, after. How we did were you done. fake it when you saw it? Where you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 it's oh, fine. No, my, my, my son's got in the pool. Oh, we're gonna go. Oh, kayak. Oh, I appreciate. That's the most action that kayak's gonna get. <laughs> oh yeah, Tommy <laughs> putting true. putting the work on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I did think That's to myself, like, and Max's yeah. kayaks. Congratulations on your new kayaks, <laughs> yes. boys. You know, so I appreciate because she all she wants to do is uh, have me uh, spend time with my sons, which uh, that's all that's I want to awesome. do. So that's you know, and whether, whether it's kayaking or whatever, uh, you know, I. I 
It's hard for me to talk shit about the the gift that my wife got me for my 40th birthday, even though I want to so bad. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I did. It's now, like my mom got me the I, untuck it shirt, right? Listen. It's hard to stare into their eyes and go, this is a, I didn't want this. Why are you giving me this? <laughs> no, I, I got in the pool with Tommy. Tommy got in the front and we were kayaking around the pool. And I just like, I like, you know, I like it. All right. I like it. Kayaking. It is so, one thing wait, hold say. on a second. Do you like it? Kayaking is good. It's fine. Yeah, it's very I like good. kayaking. <laughs> It's uh, you know, but I understand the listeners uh, f- fucking with me because well, of all the shit. Well, you said, I deserve it. You said you hate it. I deserve it. it. <laughs> I, you got you're happy now. I deserve it. You you were you did a whole show and then proceeded to, to want to do an entire bit based around the idea that you didn't think anyone could call up to the show and justify why kayaking is fun. <laughs> that goes, is the whole thing. It's you a did. little deeper than just like I'm into it now. It's like I can understand why people are confused because you you were like call in. It's a challenge. <laughs> it's not fun. You know, like, and now here you are I, with two of them. Not one, well, that's what happens. You take hard stances on shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sure Matthew Stafford at one point hated the Rams. <laughs> 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 and then there's some video of him talking shit about the goddamn Rams. Yeah, yeah. And now he's fucking holding the Super Bowl yeah, trophy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Yeah. It happens in life. All right. Uh, so you're five years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we're going to have the Semantics Five Year this Sunday at 12 p.m. at Rock Pit Brewing. We are going to have our very own beer. We have Semantics Sunday Vienna Lager that's going to be on tap and also available in limited four packs. We're going to have Semantic T-shirts for sale, Love Belgian it. beer glasses for sale. We're giving away some Semantics pins and stickers. And we're going to have a Daniel Stern Scream competition. <laughs> Uh, because I'm obsessed with Daniel Stern Scream from Home Alone. So whoever does the best Daniel Stern Scream is going to win a Climate Design AC Nest uh, from Climate Design. He's going to install nice. it for you. And also we're going to have a couple plants that are being donated by our sponsor at Liner Patch in Apopka, Florida. I love it. Every time you say Daniel Stern, I think of the guy that uh, that hated uh, or like didn't want black people to come to his basketball games. And who the, uh, who oh, was Donald that? Sterling. Donald oh, my Sterling. God. I get a gr- Don't get that scream. <laughs> 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 I'm here for the I'm here for the Donald Stern. Big my Magic Johnson. He oh. has AIDS. There. <laughs> Don't did do I, that scream. Did I win? So, uh, Seth, how do can we, people... Do you have any of that beer? Is it only where you're going to be? Or do you have any of that? Can I get any, buy any of that beer for me? That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I can grab Lord. you a pack while I'm there. You got have... beer, beer. You well, I'm how have, get beer, me, buy. We have custom buy. semantic <laughs> can art from Eric Pabone. Ooh. Art of ericpabone.com. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'm having a party Saturday. I'm having a karate test Saturday. That's why I got to go now. I, I thought you said you're having a karate party. I was like, I am having a karate party. Stupid. No, <laughs> after the test, I have a big get together at my house and we all have a party. Yeah. Come on With over, guys. Pizza at Mustache's <laughs> house. <laughs> <laughs> no, it gets oh fun. We go God. through like probably three or four bottles of sake in, 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 in like oh. a few hours. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey. Oh, no, the kids. Hey, I, hey, take a little uh, <laughs> jungle <laughs> juice, a little special <laughs> sensei juice. Oh, it's hey. the adult. Get ah. you relaxed. Yeah, take a little of this. Oh, yeah. It's an 18 and up karate party. <laughs> that's not a pube. Stuff. That's one of my mustaches. Uh, I got a lot of mustaches. Uh, that's happening Saturday? That's happening Saturday. Saturday. That's where I'm going right now. Come I'm on, going... kids. Let's go ride the train. <laughs> 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 well, my event's not till Sunday. Oh, okay. Why yeah, don't you drop I'm by done. the event? I will. If she drops my from one of my parties, I will do that. Why don't uh-huh. you drop by? I'm going to buy anyway. I want to go by. I have nothing to do uh, Sunday. I'll do Your full, uh, you know. Ninja. The ninja. <laughs> Uniform? Yeah, give them the ninja. Hakama. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see you guys yes, uh, next Tuesday. week. Yeah, we'll see you Tuesday. For All Twitchers. Yeah, yeah everything's sure loaded up and ready to go. You got shows. We'll have some uh, camping trip stories. Uh, and if you're in the the woods in Arcadia, yeah. come find us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'll, I'll be, the, I'll be the small man <laughs> shitting. Real fast. Real fast. When's oh. your boat thing? When's your boat thing that you're taking the... They've been on the boat. Oh, the boat. Uh, we don't well, know I've, yet. I've been talking... They there we, I said, let's go uh, when it's like springtime. So oh, so you're go. gonna wait a little bit. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Why? Because my, I'm getting my boat the 28th. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I'm getting it. In 10 in, days? Dude, he is able to find days. more vehicles. I mean, he's just running circles around yeah, your yeah. life. Well, when you full, buy full price. With it, I'm not buying full Well, yeah, it's, oh, it's almost full price. But not New? What year? 40 hours on the engine. Wow, that's not 2021 fair. Yamaha 242 SE. So it's the Mac Daddy version. Of is it black again? It's black, but it's not It's not uh, wrapped black, but it's going to be. I talked to the guys that are wrapping my, my, 
my uh, yeah, yeah. truck and they're going to do it. It doesn't make the boat hot when you wrap it black like no, that? No, on the outside, no. With $84,000, you could buy anything fast. Yeah, That's yeah. all I'm saying. Well, no, no, no. I mean, this I guy, don't care. This guy so? over here, I What's give $500 point? for a one wheel GT. He won't even pull the trigger on it. Well, it costs uh, $1,800 or whatever. Well, now it's $1,300. <laughs> oh, 1300 Now, because I gave you some. Yeah, you got to get the rest. Just uh, do it. Yeah. You only live once, man. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're winning because I just wanted to come up with you. That's all. Just winning for I'll tell you when, and you can uh, you can follow us if you uh, if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think my boat uh, is faster than yours. Uh, I'm telling you, it's a boat on. race. And this is when you kill one of our listeners. <laughs> no, trying no, to do a goddamn boat <laughs> race. <laughs> well, I'll have them wait at the dock because I oh, have okay. to get all the weight no, off. No, you gotta have him drive and you're shooting at him with a flare gun. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot the flare gun at him. I'm gonna have my VR thing on as I'm driving around. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Seth is literally fucking Riley Reed while yeah, he's yeah, racing yeah. you in his boat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now we'll see you next week. Yes, sir. Bye bye. Oh, wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre.